Uh. Yeah. Here you go. The freestyle. <laughs> By Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> Is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give a fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. I told you he has some shit. Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle. <laughs> by Corey. Okay. Yo, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, 5150. Uh, Nation needs to know that we have hit in only 18 episodes since we've been in this little pussy ass office. <laughs> a million, over a million views. 5150 Nation, we appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Oh Chat my room. God. Chat yeah. room, niggas. We love you, man. Look, we about to take this shit to the next level. Um, now that we um, on a certain level of viewers, we can go over there to Yahoo, um, fuck some of the little intern bitches. And, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We get a little, we get a little pussy ass hookup up there. It's, it's, about, it's about to be cracking. It's about to be cracking. Fifty one fifty nine. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We got uh, OG Bobby Gladtide Smith back, back in the house. Yeah. For where was you at, Bobby? Oh, in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Man. I see. I see you were shopping down in Murfreesboro. Dark man outfit uh, on. Dark. Hey man, um, you look like dude who passed them dudes the package. And uh, what's the name of that Eddie Murphy movie where they uh, trading places? The dude who was like, no, <laughs> through their package. Slide it over here. Slide it over here. <laughs> In the parking lot. We fucking with good. We want to know what happened. Well, you fuck some old hoe? No, man. I went to work, man. But I need to give a shout out to my great nephew Kevante, man. That brother is seven years old, and he's the joy. He's the straight joy, man. He makes it worth going home and being the elder that I'm supposed to be. That's what's up. That's right. There it is. Bobby went to go see his young kid folk. That's right. Back with him on his mind. That's always good. Yes, it is. Anyway, but there's some good. bullshit going on down there too. Though. What happened? Oh. What's it? Tell us about it. Tell Bobby. us about this country shit. I'm gonna <laughs> charge you now. You got <laughs> no, I did a I did a radio show with the sheriff of Red, Rutherford County, and I cursed on his show. And he was like, "Oh, you can't do that. You can't do that." And I, I said, "Man, it's, I don't know. I've been too I've been doing too much Corey Hoker." <laughs> oh my God, no, Bobby. You say what kind of show is that? I said, "You really don't." Want you don't want to wanna know. Yeah. I'm saying this though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, There's gonna be opportunities for us to move on. To bigger places, but will the show be compromised? Because you know what I'm saying. It's you like didn't come too far for that. I don't think so. Man. Well, I'm saying like you. Well, you know the foxhole has um the people at the foxhole have offered a position, and I'm not I'm not against that at all. Because I don't I don't know why people think I have something personal against Jamie Foxx. Well, you no. have been. I uh, joke on him going in. People, people think because you, you know, what I'm saying you go in on somebody joke wise. Don't mean I. I mean I ain't mad at the brother. It's, it's, it's not like he, um, Stephen A. Smith, who bobbed down. That's what happened to Stephen A. Smith lining. He bobbed down to his master so much, his hair starting to move back. Like man, look, man, I'm, I ain't with this motherfucker right here, man. Stephen You're A. Smith. Running to him in New York, man. No, nah, I ain't running to none of them guys. Those guys like Barkley, yeah. who's supposed to be slapping the shit out of me when he sees me. <laughs> That'd be so funny. I'd be laughing. <laughs> you got oh, it, bro. We about goodness. to die, though, motherfucker. How did Caroline's work out? Caroline's was cool. Yeah. Uh, a lot of um, a lot of 5150 truck driving motherfuckers. <laughs> 5150 motherfuckers be at the show, man. Fuck what you talking about, man. Fuck what you talking about, man. I'm telling you, man. Every show. Anyway. Oh, that's cool. Um, Y'all know how this go. The whole team is here today, so we going to get Darlene in. Yes. With her um, loose 
talk about bullshit. Oh, shit. oh my god. Loose. What it do? Well, wow. Okay, well th this one I have have to talk about. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard about the Black Madam. Have you heard about the Black Madam trial? Mm -mm. Hell no, what's that bullshit about? Let me enlighten you. Please. All right, the Black Madam is a transgender, right? So it used to be a, used to be a man. <laughs> It is, now, it is now a woman. <laughs> Somebody say my hat and my stomach hungry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's a good one. Boy, Chat good. room, stand up. They good. They good. Um, they don't want to give their real names, though. That's hilarious. Uh, they should get credit for it. But anyway, okay, so this transgender, and I'm just saying that because it comes into play later what on. What is a transgender? It's changing sex. So it changed sex. used to be. So like, Bruce Jenner. Oh, that's a, that's one. No, but did he? I, I, I want to make sure people know what a transgender is. Okay. Is it a dude who had his dick ripped off? It and, could be. And sliced? It could be either one. But anyway, this was a man. This is a man who turned himself into a woman. <laughs> I know. Stop. It was. It was. Used to be a man. So now it's a woman. Full fledged on woman, right? How? I had all the stuff done. The trans, the, just like Bruce Jenner's doing. Hold on. So is somebody? Are you gay if you fuck a, a dude who got his dick? Um, Slit and split? Pretty much. I don't know. Ask Eddie Murphy. What if you don't know? Ooh, Ooh he went in on. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I know what? That just came out. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Okay. But anyway, I don't know. We'll have to talk about that. That's a whole nother <laughs> subject right there. Hold on. Wait. Let me say this before we go any further. <laughs> hey, Mr. Murphy, you know I'm a big fan. <laughs> Hey, fuck all that shit. I'm apologizing for so now. Right now. Right now. We don't want no more shit. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Eddie Murphy, for real. Okay. okay. No bullshit. Like, I like uh, uh -huh. the Golden Child, too. You know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just letting it be known. I, yeah, I fucks with Eddie Murphy. I'm just saying. All right. That's the views expressed by Zo. <laughs> Those is his views. That's right. him over there, yeah. We don't know him very well. We just picked him up. <laughs> hey, this, hey, this is the Million Plus show. We get the trip on no, this No, but one. I like Eddie Murphy. Let me tell you something. Eddie Murphy do not smile with new niggas. Well, that's good. Okay. When you want to, but hey, Eddie, be like, yeah, I ain't gonna fuck with your dick. <laughs> I love motherfuckers like that. I'm sorry. Go okay. ahead, D. Let's get off that transgender. I was just saying that it. It's not even a woman, right? This person. Let me get to the. Let me let me get to the main point. So the pussy don't drip, right? Be quiet. No, wow. Let's, okay, let's even forget. Take it back. Take it back. Does let's, it get let's, wet? Let's back up. No, let's just back up. Forget all that. Okay, let's not even talk about the <laughs> transgender part of this. This woman, then, let me just say, this woman is on trial uh. because a year and a half ago. So this woman has been giving butt injections to a lot of women that you guys have been seeing out there that are known. And it is now, well, she's now on trial. It was. It, pretty it, much, right? Because yeah. it's confusing. It. Is now on trial. Because you don't know if you want to go woman or man or whatever. Anyway, he, she is now on trial. Pussy last, got a womb in it. Shush. Oh. Right, right. So last week, <laughs> last week they took the stands for the first time. And they go back on March 13th. But they took the stands for the first time in Philly. Because a year and a half ago, a girl died. So a girl flew in from London, a stripper. And she was giving her butt injections. And she hit a vein with this illegal silicone that she's injecting these women with. And they're so desperate to get it. It's not used for that. You're not supposed to be using that silicone liquid in to inject your body. I, Either it's encased in things or, but they, she's been, so apparently this woman for years has been known as the Michelangelo of fake butts. Because they people go to her and she's illegal. She's not even a real doctor. Like Macy so, Gray was in that movie. There you go. So yeah, so she she's on trial right now. So last week they went on the stands for the first time, and the big thing was she started saying names. So it's allegedly because she said on the stand under oath that she did Amber Roses, and that mm. Kanye even dropped her off for one of her appointments on the stand. Well, she did a good job on Amber Roses' ass. And, no, she said she goes on. Oh, That's a nice ass. She goes, she goes, I don't mean to be cocky. But I am. Can we see Amber Rose's ass? And she said, "I am the best." She ain't the best. <laughs> the lady, the doctor said, she said she's the best. That bitch ain't the best. Let me tell you something. <laughs> when them bitches shoot that silicone in them hoes ass, that's very dangerous. You gotta go get that fat shot in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's two different things. They they take fat off your body and shoot it in your ass. That's that's exp that costs more money. <laughs> that silicone and shit, you buy that shit on the internet real cheap. And all these girls, mm. so she's so now. 
she's on trial because this particular this girl died. So now they're asking her for all this other information. And then she even said that, oh, I was, I was called, contacted by, allegedly, by Nicki Minaj's people to do some corrections. But wow. that she never made it through to her because they What's an her. ass correction? Can you go well, into I, that? I, I, I don't, um, <laughs> they got to shoot it somewhere else to make that shit. <laughs> Bitches with little legs and calves should not get their ass blew up. <laughs> it they look so bizarre. They look so her. ridiculous. But I think <laughs> if you die <laughs> oh. getting... That silicone shot in your ass, you need to be forced to lay on your stomach in the casket. So oh. when everybody walk what? past. Why? Nobody <laughs> can see the red. They can be like. This is what did it. This oh bitch my is, God. Put that bitch ass. Put that bitch ass up. But anyway, so this woman. So all the trial dead motherfuckers who. It's, it's a big trial in Philly right now, this one. March 13th, everybody's like, because oh, now what are they going to say? Because they said that was towards the end of that trial day, and they wondering who else she's going to expose. Because prior to doing these butt injections, this madam, why she got the name, hence the name, she was a madam. So she used to have an escort service. That, oh, too, so that too is going to come out. So wow. everybody in Philly. So her whole little been- <laughs> enterprise got <laughs> turned upside down mm-hmm. with this. Yep. I wonder what happened. Like, I'm, I know this is foul, but I'm just asking. If you fuck a dead bitch, because you know you can't leave a dead woman's body alone in the um, morgue, from what I understand. Really? Because it was you, too many, pe- too many really? people fucking dead bitches. Just because a bitch dead don't mean her pussy ain't there. Well, then y'all just, never, th- y'all never heard of this oh, though, have you? This that. is that real shit. Yes. Look at that. She did a damn like grade A job on that ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I am sure. Bobby, are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure that it looked like that, but do it feel like that? That's a good it probably question. Feels like it probably feels like It depends like on what's shot in their ass. <laughs> yeah, it could be like I'm telling you that doctors that fat. put fat in their ass, yeah. and it don't feel hard like that. It's, it's different shit. People get shot in their ass. Mm, but mm, back mm, to mm. fucking dead bitches. <laughs> no, let's not. That's a little. What? It happened. I Corey, let me ask you. You got to hold their legs up. They Would not, you fuck you a go. You let that leg go, you're going to hear something go. <laughs> Here we go. Got the hole let that motherfucker up, goddammit. Oh, my God. Um, Would you fuck, fuck a freshly dead bad bitch? Um, long no, as they it's illegal. Don't still answer warm. that. No, uh, you guys, I hope you, you're playing. It's called necrophilia, right? I yeah. guess, but it's illegal. You can fuck a dead bitch and enjoy it if you turn oh, the yeah. heat up in the room <laughs> all the way up to 90. <laughs> let the bitch get real warm. Boil some hot dogs by the dead bitch so she steam up. <laughs> <laughs> Boil a hot dog right by the pussy, goddammit. And I think I think you can skeet hard than a motherfucker. Let me, there's some badass dead bitches out here in the uh, morgue. A hot dog humidifier that right. up the pussy. Uh. I just don't want no bloody dead bitch. Be like, well, who? who she? Man, that bitch fine, but that nigga shot the shit out there, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Give me this bitch who had a heart attack. She, <laughs> she a little fat, but her brain's still in her head. Yeah, I'm not lying. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, God. That's fucked up. Yes, it is. Yes. Darlene crying and shit. No, it's I all don't. right, Darlene. <laughs> we got a million plus views, God damn it, <laughs> in 18 crying. shows. We get to turn up. I'm so happy. I'm crying so happy. Anyway, okay, my last thing. I don't want to linger too much on it. We had a really good topic tonight, of course, as always. Um, did you guys hear about the uh, ESPN anchor, Robert Flores? What no. he did? What did he do? All right, well, oh, yeah, he, he went on he a... put a picture up of this motherfucker? Of, of, of Robert Flores. He went on a radio interview, and somehow it got on the topic of Iggy Azalea, the rapper. And he said, oh, she's... What did he say? I want to say it verbatim. Oh, she's trying to kill hip-hop, right? And so you know Iggy Azalea is dating um, Nick, uh, what's his last name? Nick Young. Young. Nick Young from the Lakers. Swaggy Pete. Swaggy Pete. from the Lakers. He's from out here in L.A. He from, is he from L.A.? I know he's yeah. from, oh, I didn't know that he was a hometown boy. Mad so cool, time. though. The nice man is kid. mad I mean, cool. Nice kid. Swaggy. Yeah, okay. Swaggy Pete, mad cool. Nice he's from here, ain't he? Yeah. USC product, yeah. It's a Tall, good he got good hair, them hoes. He got, with him. Yeah, Go he ahead. got that good, not, yeah, <laughs> oh, good hair. Anyway, <laughs> now they're in a Twitter beef because Robert Flores said that. So Nick tweeted out, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know you know, we got to see each other at some at some point, right? So then Flores, he didn't back down. He said he went, <laughs> he said on, on another radio show interview, he didn't tweet. He said it live. He said, um, 
he goes, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, I'm not scared. He said it because if he tried, he said, if you look at his numbers, if he takes a shot at me, he's going to miss. Hey, I'm wow. just looking. He goes, hey, that was real friendly. Wow. Hey, I'm just looking at the numbers, so I'm good. And he said, Nick's shooting 36 from the field this year. <laughs> wow. That's Flores. That's him. He'll get knocked the fuck out. He Wait, did say and that. And he keeps going. And he keeps going. I'm here to tell you, that, that dude right there don't want to fuck with Nick Young. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Young probably about real talk, 6'6", 6'7". About, six, mm -hmm. six, six, seven. about six, seven. 220. 6'6". Yeah, he had thin build. But that long, yeah. that motherfucker right there. <laughs> was, and he's young. I was still on Flores so fast and, and he says a motherfucker and to and me. And he's pretty young. Nick's pretty young. But anyway, so. Corey, I don't like your show. <laughs> <laughs> knuckle sandwich out of here. This knuckle sandwich, bitch. Have my hat bite your ass. <laughs> so, then, wait, so, the, so the radio interviewer asked uh, him, asked Flores, he was like, wow, okay. He said, well, um, how would you react if Young went after your wife? Right? How would you react if Young went after your woman? Isn't that funny? Because it kind of transitions to what we're getting ready to He said, how would you react if Young made a comment like that towards your wife? And he said, well, I don't think Swaggy wants to be making fun of my wife. She'll put the paws on him. She's from down south, and those southern girls are not to be messed with. Take it from me. Oh, so he was really going in. Oh, he ain't backing down. All right. No, he was sticking his woman. I, I just heard him stick his woman on, on Swaggy. Did no, 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 no. That's what asked, you just said. No, his, you him. said his wife said, he said his wife wasn't nobody to, to mess with. Right. right. So they asked him, what would you, what, what, what would you think? What's that all about? Because he's saying, well, he's I don't a new school anymore. guy. He don't know what he's doing. Let me tell you something, man. <laughs> Let me say this, Swaggy P. If you happen to be listening to this, <laughs> don't even get mad, man. I wouldn't. I'd be. I don't. I that wouldn't goofy even motherfucker don't want it. He don't even know what he's doing. He probably like, yeah, you know, he's just acting silly. Yeah. Then get super socked out here in the streets. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I don't even think he know how real it is what he's saying. Mm. I mean, like, that's you know, what happens most of the time. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's just acting silly. But I don't understand Listen. why these people have to even respond. One of the, oh, you got to do this. Look, look, hello. Have a couple I, I of the homies, you know, you see him and his girl to. walking outside and feel on his girl in front of him. Oh, my God. Cop a feel? Yeah. That's hey, it. What is this girl you was talking about? Yeah. What is the southern yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What is the southern fist, huh? Watch your mouth, boy. Watch your mouth. You know where this came from. Anyway, I thought that was funny. And then there's all the, there's a couple other little Twitter wars you know out there. And it just cracks me up that people do that nowadays. I'm like, what is that all even all about? Do you guys Twitter have, wars? Do you have anything else better to do with your life? That's all I'm saying. It's like, who does that? I can, I can say this. When people talk shit about me on Twitter, they be so shocked when I respond to them. Because I actually be, I, I, I like to see the response. Most of the times, people be like, this really you? Oh, you know what I mean? You get that. <laughs> it's a couple of times motherfuckers called me. I just one motherfucker called me a racist. Then I was like, damn, man, that feel, that hurt. I don't think I'm no racist. I know I say some racy shit sometimes, but I'm yeah. not a racist. You know was it saying? a white boy? Yeah, I was like, I fuck a lot of white hoes. You know oh, what I mean? You know what? Stop. <laughs> then he laughed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Most of this shit, man, is just people who want attention. That's true. Now, sometimes, mm -hmm. I'll put it like this. People can get emotional if you have images up of them or if you do things to go the extra mile. But just some text words. Words. That's like, different. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, that's why, different. Why I, would you even bother? That's why I follow my enemies on Twitter. You have to follow the people that don't <laughs> like you, man. Let them be the bitch to unfollow you yeah. or be like trying to block you. That's wow. funny. Wow. I did, I, did, I did block one motherfucker on Twitter. No. Man, this white boy was giving me the blues. <laughs> this motherfucker was the most persistent motherfucker. I mean, like, every day I woke up for a week, he had, like, 40, 50 just posts to fuck you, you fucking asshole, you fuck <laughs> nigga. I love it. Uh, okay, this motherfucker You remember weird. his handle? You remember his handle? I don't remember called? his handle, but I haven't right. never blocked anybody, so yeah. if it shows who you blocked, yeah, you'll it'll see it. show. You'll be able to see. But this motherfucker was, he had too much free time. I was like, this motherfucker yeah. weird. Yeah. I'm tired of him. Yeah. yeah. Fucking up my whole timeline. <laughs> this motherfucker won't go away. Hey, <laughs> one motherfucker who got me. Whoever you is, I, you <laughs> got me, watch, motherfucker. You probably watch this show. Really? What, what do they call those kind of people on the internet that do that? Like, what is trolls. This? Trolls. trolls. Why, trolls. Why are they called? Police. Why are they called trolls? Because they're just trolling in there. They got nothing else to do. They're trolls. Yeah, they're just in there. A troll is troll. You know what a troll does, right? They watch your I show. I thought a troll wait for Billy Goats on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Billy Goat yeah, Gruff yeah. reference. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't heard that one in a long, long time. time. Yeah, they get elementary. Billy, three <laughs> Billy Goats Gruff? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the big Billy Goat? Get out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened. 
What what happened with that story? The big Billy go fucked him up, didn't he? I don't remember, nigga. That was oh my god, kindergarten. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I know you remember it, Bobby. Back in <laughs> Memphis, I, that was that was like video games. Uh, <laughs> Damn, <laughs> stories like that. You're actually right, man. Yeah. Billy go Gruff yeah. was this nigga's PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> they had the Billy go Gruff game. <laughs> 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 Got a duck oh, control. Yeah. Stop. Damn it. Anyway, nah, the radio so in case people came in here late, do we want to remind them, uh, tell them again what we're uh, celebrating? Well, if you don't know, um, mm. you want to tell them, Bobby? What a troll is. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, tell them. Bobby how, know got real stories about tell them, trolls. <laughs> we got up to a million followers. And it's oh. amazing. That's what I'm saying. It's amazing because I didn't know based on the clicks that we would see every week that it mm-hmm. went that fast, man. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's that's a tribute to uh the people that have watched this show religiously for the last six years, man. They kept coming, man, and they waited. Only they brought it back. And hey man, salute to you, brother. Oh yeah, yeah, man. We we ain't through. We about to we about to kick in, kick gears in. Mm-hmm. And we gonna try to make our shows more like um, <laughs> Stop, I can't. That's why I can't look at that. Sorry, that guys. shit is hysterical. Is Corey, they, they said they Corey said, wears that hat when he goes down on Candy Bar Brown. <laughs> <laughs> they said my my you sweater mean, hat. Joe borrowed his hat. Hey, when he goes down hey, on Candy hey, Bar hey. Brown. <laughs> Candy Bar Brown is an upstanding young lady, and we're going to show her respect. Zoe ate that pussy from the back. <laughs> No, they mm. said Bobby thinks he's Italiano with that, with that jacket. Bobby, Bobby a hit man. <laughs> Bobby the hit man. Oh, I know who he is. Perfect exact outfit. New Jack City, the young Italian dude, when they met up with him, he had that exact same outfit on. Was I was wearing leather for that Yes, and his hat was flipped and up. And Ice-T, that's how you remember, because Ice-T was like, hey, 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 yo, 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 my man. You want to talk to him? You talk to me. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's why Dali remember that. I remember thing. that because I was there. She was over there, got never sweeping and shit. I yeah. was on set. No, I was not sweeping. I was. I'm I- fucking with you, see? I couldn't resist it. <laughs> that was the gig. She was sweeping. <laughs> Where the fuck is Dali? There's some dirt on the floor. <laughs> you know what? They got the Mexican working on it. Right. That's, so That's back when Christopher Williams was the shit. Oh, oh yes. Like, oh, my God. It's and Key Sweat. Sweat. Remember, remember that soundtrack was bomb because Key Sweat performed live at the wedding. Song. So, yeah. yeah. His neck was shootout. stretched like a motherfucker. There you go, Kelly. <laughs> well, that one hadn't come out yet. <laughs> oh, that, that <laughs> no, that's song? a newer one. Oh, I thought that was the song he was singing. No. What song was he singing? <laughs> It, I don't, that wasn't it. That, that was just, a song. No. I know I'm what I'm talking about. Do you know how many times I watched New Jack City? <laughs> New Jack City was the shit. Probably one of the best yeah. movies ever. That's back uh, when my nickname was the Dunk Creator. I used to be oh. hooping every day. Mm. The oh. Dunk, dunk Creator. creator. Oh. Dunk Creator. Oh. 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 I didn't imagine People, that. Yeah. When I be in Chicago, it wasn't why I hear motherfucker that, hey, hey, Creator. Oh, like, oh. oh yeah, oh. what up? This is when you have bounce. Yeah, that's huh? when I have bounce. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. I don't nobody believe that shit. I oh guess. yeah. Uh, there's got to be some video of your of mm. you when you were younger, Corey, doing that. It wasn't as popular to have a video camera, but one time this dude brought his camera to the gym. See, I oh, bet yeah. you he has it. Back when a dude had a camera, it was like amazing and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera was the biggest. Yeah. Did he make like, it home with it? Yeah. No, he ain't made it home with it. It wasn't that type. Of, <laughs> it wasn't that type of time. Oh, Chicago God, always been anyway. rough, man. Come on, man. Anyway. He might have brought that camera. I don't know if he made it home with it. What else you got for us in loose talk about? That was it. I knew that. Yeah, you know, I knew that, that was going to take a little while longer. But anyway, oh, did you know really quick on that trial that this guy that she was having an affair with, this other doctor, just by the way, I was just, it was just, it's so enticing. The he she? Yes. Refer was him ha- as he she. Okay, he she was having an affair with a, another doctor, a real doctor, gastrointestinal surgeon, right? He was Big letting time. loose on the back of that sack. You should see him. I mean, that transition he made, he looked just like a. When they cut a pussy, what do they do? Do they like fold a sack? Yes, in? they use your penis meat. And they, they make it. They okay, make this lips. is getting just like making an airplane, a they paper airplane. Meat. They fold your sack meat up, and they make and they the spritz yeah. it down with some medical spritz, where the shit won't unfold that much. No. <laughs> and <laughs> you got a a, book, a pussy looking sack. Because mm. But where the dick go? What do you mean? When they get fucked? What do you mean that's gone? Wait, I don't understand. So they remove the. Winner. Can we pull up a tutorial video? And the re- no, the reason I know this because there was a transgender that used to have. A I want to hear this. Let used hear to this. have a business right next door to my. They remove the wiener. And and we asked him, 
We asked him. Who well, is we? Are, me and Annalisa, one of my good friends. Oh. She, has a, she had a business that was right next door to his business. He used to do lasering hair off of people, right? And he showed you his um, spritz. No, we didn't want to see pussy. it, but we asked him about it because he said if there's anything you want to ask, go ahead. And this was like 10 years ago. And this was like 10 years ago. And he said that they chop it, they chop it off, they take the cartilage part out of it, and they use half the meat, oh. and, they, and they, create the, they, create the, they create the lips. But they, they, create, they make the lips out of, out of sack cartilage. <laughs> yes, not balls, sack but the sack cartilage. cartilage. And the then, sack cartilage. There's no, 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 no cartilage no. in your you sack. You might be eating a sack. Oh be eating this pussy, you don't even know it's a pussy. You don't down. You're like, that bitch pussy look kind of weird, but, <laughs> but that looks salty wait, taste that's to what it. That's what I'm trying to get at. Is this pussy guy, tastes no, but salty. That's what I'm trying to get at is they called this guy on the stand, <laughs> and he had to tell everybody. So he's, and so he's in his hometown of Philly. So one, he had, they found out that he was having an affair on his wife and children. And not only that, they found out that the person he was having an affair with was this transgender, this transgender woman or man. Where did dick go? Do they cut a hole? Corey. They split it in half. In half? And fold it up. I, I all know. I know is that they said that he said that they use the skin. Know. They use the remaining remaining skin to make create I the know lips. that where the sack is, it's a hole back there because I done tucked my balls back there before. <laughs> well, when, I, oh when I was young and I ain't had shit to do and shit, I used to put my balls in the back of the, uh, it's a, it's something back there. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh my God. I'm just this saying. nigga right here. <laughs> Your ball closet become a vagina. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think every I don't think every oh man is born with a ball closet. You got a ball closet. You, just ain't ball never, closet you ain't never put your ball in the hold on. No wait, I closet. Think I can do sounds, it. Hold on. Now closet sounds a little suspect. How this about said a ball closet? It's a ball closet. No. I just put my left ball. In the closet. <laughs> Behind the, um... No. You better get your balls and come out the closet, nigga. No, <laughs> you know, I think it's it. a better word would be ball garage or something. Ball like garage. That. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. You park them. Go oh park, park them back there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Some of these guys' ass twizzlers so blew out their ball fall from the closet to the twizzler. Mm. They can see their ball out the back of their ass and so blew out. <laughs> Wow. Don't egg him on, Chris. No, no. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck is going uh, on? Anyway, all right. Well. Why motherfuckers scared to talk about their body and shit, man? You got a ball closet. Mm. No, <laughs> listen, you have a ball closet. I don't think. No. You ain't never put your balls. No. Yeah, so you ain't never touched your balls. You just wash yeah, your balls. Of course you touch your balls. Every, every man should touch his balls. So he's saying he never pushed them all the way back into the parking area. Into a home. closet? Look. Into a ball closet. <laughs> Let me just, tell you something. Let's just Let me go tell you with something. that for a minute. <laughs> Motherfuckers can fuck? say that motherfuckers are strange or whatever the fuck. I explore my body. This is my ball closet. <laughs> you found a Twizzler in your own ass. The ass Twizzler. <laughs> And you, you found a ball closet on yourself. Right in the back of the balls oh is a ball spot of real sensitive skin. Somebody called it the lemon pocket. <laughs> <laughs> no. The lemon pocket. That's the brilliant. Lemon pocket. <laughs> the lemon pocket. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody said, so Corey, you got too many compartments. <laughs> Corey is not of this earth. On the back of the balls, oh it's a very God. tender area that oh. you appreciate when a woman know about that area. Mm. It's a very tender area. Now, if you can't find a woman oh, to yeah. give attention to this area, oh. it is very relaxing. <laughs> very, very relaxing. Maybe not everybody Somebody has that did. same compartment. This fool Corey was made in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Have oh, you ever? You remember that candy you put in your mouth, and it fizz? That yes. <laughs> yeah, pop rocks. Yeah, pop them rocks. pop rocks. Yeah. If you wet the back of your sack, right where it's real, where it's real tender at, and put some pop rocks on that motherfucker, nigga, you can nut without jagging up. Oh off. my god! I'm putting y'all up on game. I know that I would tell people shit like this. Not any game. I get a boy. moment where I'm not selfish and shit. Y'all laughing at me. <laughs> God damn it. Them pop rocks on that part of your sack or the back. 
Look at Bobby's face. This is <laughs> Bobby, Bobby's gonna go try it. Now he's concentrating. No, Bobby said it. Bobby's like, I can't wait till we get past this moment. Wait. Look at Bobby's face. Oh my, you're scaring Bobby. Reference, man. I don't know what this you is. ain't never <laughs> fuck with your sack, Bobby. You're not <laughs> your body is unexplored. <laughs> okay. Oh God! <laughs> Somebody said turn Corey's mic off. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say Corey's voice mode. Oh my! That don't make me voice because I motherfucking know how to bust nuts without bitches and with pop rocks. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I ain't never bust a nut with a man in the room. I tell you that much. Oh my gosh! You need it. Ooh, I never mm. bust a nut alone, and I get tired of the. Re- when you jag off too much, you wear your dickhead out. Oh my God! I'm saying no, Darlene. You don't understand. I right don't. No, I don't. But the dickhead is. It can get real wore well out where it hurt after a while. When you got a whole week of depression, you can wear your dickhead out. You got to learn how to bust nuts without rubbing your dickhead. Wow. <laughs> What? That's what I don't bust nuts without touching my dickhead. By I know how to rub the little um, the skeet the skeet vein. That's what I call it. That vein at the bottom. Mm. Everybody. Now you claiming everybody got a vein. Every man got a vein that the shit skeet out of. I know how to find mine. <laughs> it's at the bottom of the dick. My gosh. And you just gotta go See up that? and down. It take a little longer, and you gotta go faster. <laughs> <laughs> Your arm be tied to the motherfucker, boy. But that's the last resort, busting oh, up right there. My goodness. But grab that you motherfucking that bottom vein, boy. That motherfucker's amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, what, uh, Darlene? What? Yes, I'm helping sir. motherfuckers. Who masturbates more, men or women? Oh, men for sure. I oh Jesus. What you gonna say? You doubt We need that? some women in there. What? It's some women who pussy got to be rotated every day. Some. You just said some. But majority of the time, no. I think that word even came from, was developed from it. Because it's, it's men. Because boys, they oh. So the second they start getting woodies, they say, go down. And the girls don't do all that stuff. It starts off with young boys. They don't even know how to react with it. They get up and that thing's sticking up wrong. like a... Uh, I think I you're wrong. Think so. Let's hear no, from Twitter. Come on. Uh, Corey, what's your Twitter handle? Oh, the God. Corey Oakham on Twitter. Bobby, what's on. your Twitter handle? Hey, Glenn Smith. Okay. Ladies. At Zoe Williams. Ladies. Darlene. Next time you giving your man a hand job, you ain't got to wear the head out by going over the head every time. At the bottom, like Look at the at tip of the dick. <laughs> Look at that. The tip of the dick, the, where the pee come out, if you just keep sliding up them little motherfuckers, that's why dudes laugh because they know, I know my dick, god damn it, that's my dick, I ain't gay because I fuck with my dick, that's y'all motherfuckers, the lost y'all motherfuckers, you gonna call me gay because I fuck with myself, you crazy little motherfucker. I ain't bought one of them flashlights yet, but I was almost about to buy that motherfucker. A what? A flashlight. They got this thing that feel like a pussy. At the at the at the, the X rated store. You seen them? You got you one? You got one, don't you? Oh, uh, uh. It worked. You bust nuts. You you fuck you, a little flashlight in the. Oh, you gotta it, wash it, that this. motherfucker out. Yeah. Good to the motherfucker, <laughs> boy. It's dead dead baby cells in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this shit oh done went God. bad. It went real. So I said Darlene is wet. <laughs> oh yes, I'm so so thrilled right here. Okay, oh my God. I'd like to know who masturbates more, men or women. Hit us with your Twitter responses. You got everybody's Twitter uh, information. Let's yeah. see what they say. Bobby, Bobby, Twitter. What's oh, your at, Twitter? At Glanton Smith. Yeah. At Glanton Smith. I Smith. think it's women too, but over a lifetime. Over I a think lifetime, it's women. sure, but the yeah. majority Over of I'm gonna say it's sex, women. The women. I think women masturbate way more than men. It was a lady who lived no. under me, and I know that she yeah. don't know, and I never said nothing, but I knew what she was doing. The motor on her vibrator was loud. <laughs> Yeah, and that's, like, wa- that's like the upstairs neighbor. Yeah, you hear it. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 you gotta get her new one. <laughs> <Get her. laughs> I even heard it when she was turning something, like adjusting changing that motherfucker. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that pussy was wet, boy. I heard that motherfucker sound like it's swimming up there, boy. That, <laughs> that vibrator getting boiled in that pussy right there, boy. <laughs> Oh, God. Vibrator being them dry pussy bitches, that motherfucker sound like a. Uh, oh. 
Sound like a uh, when they what's the jacks? Blast. The jacks yeah. they, they they break the concrete with yeah, <laughs> a jackhammer. <laughs> yeah, it sound like a jackhammer. When that pussy wet, it be like yeah, 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 yeah. That motherfucker ain't wet, boy. That motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, she got to get a new vibrator head every other day. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Who knew that this was going to be, you know. Hey, God one damn million it. views, God damn it. Experience at, the, at Corey's uh, scrotum 101. This is the problem. People are ashamed to closet. talk about their body, but they <laughs> always molest themselves. Bobby, do you jag off? In a pinch, yeah. In a pinch. In a pinch. <laughs> That's some old school shit. There's some people... Right now, I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> 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 in, a in a pinch. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, if somebody stood you don't even know that you saying was that old. <laughs> I'm in a pinch. Oh, my pinch. God. That motherfucker said in a pinch. If I was in a pickle. I'd have caught a flat towel here on the one-on-one. I'm in a pinch. I was stranded oh, at the snooty God. fox and oh had to God. check off. Like, what? she didn't show up. Yeah, yeah. Oh. They said uh, I got a ponytail vibrator. Uh, mm, mm. <laughs> vibrator with a ponytail on it. Mm. I mean, that? but it's natural. Oh, mm. oh God. Bobby jack off dust. Bobby yeah. healthy. Y'all didn't see Bobby um, almost be so? Man, Bobby's healthy. Better than that, Bobby bro. got that bounce. That smoke come out of his dick. Yeah. But he, got that <laughs> he got Newport fumes coming out of his oh, This God. thing is nothing oh. smoke. Oh, <laughs> I can't. I can close the deal. I bet you that. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Bobby said he can close the deal. Let me tell yeah. all you hoes yeah. something. Y'all he sleep on Bobby. Deal. Y'all motherfucker yeah. take Bobby for granted, goddammit. Yeah, Bobby word. pull out that motherfucking um, sailor dick. <laughs> 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 he was in the Navy, goddammit. <laughs> Bobby, he's spinach, goddammit. My reputation's on the line. Man. People you know, on my Twitter feed. Generation, man. Bobby look like one of the motherfuckers who try to fuck real good yeah, every too, time. Man. He don't get no too, quick man. nut. Got you. Bitches be like, no, goddammit. <laughs> I don't want it. You ain't, I know you not. We gotta imagine that. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Stop it. You got great chest hair, Bobby? No, hell, I ain't counting on that. You ain't got no taco meat? I ain't counting on that. You ain't got chest hair, Bobby? Yeah, but I ain't counting on it, man. Shit. So where you... It ain't gray? We got other places to go, man. Uh I'm glad I don't grow hair on my chest because my homeboy got great chest hair. I be like, boy, you look fucked up. (laughs) (laughs) This motherfucker tried to dye his chest hair, goddammit. No. This motherfucker chest broke out. <laughs> this chest oh, broke God. out. That's fucked up right there. I said, this boy got an ostrich skin body. <laughs> how, many, how, how much does he have? Because my little trick is I take the, um, the, since my hair is dark, I take the little um, marker. What? You sharpie your hair? I do. It's a sharpie. Mm. Mm. This shit doesn't look bad. This, this shit doesn't turn Now that shit. <laughs> now that right there is crazy. Okay. You this know, about that if you have one, like this morning, for instance. I just you had one little sucker. You put a sharpie. It's just one. I don't want to have to dye my whole head. So one little sucker popped up, and then I got the Sharpie in the car. And you just pick the little <laughs> hair, and then you just go over it. Y'all <laughs> thought I was fucked up. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, somebody said we need phones. Well, we do need phones, we but do. we got a chat room, God damn it. Everything right, is right. being said, look, look. God damn it. <laughs> I did, but I took care of that sucker. It looks good. I, say, I hit all the women sharpie. at the at the gym in the locker room. They all do that now, but only women with dark hair. It only works with women with dark hair. I got you. So a redhead bitch get a sharpie. Got the... That's red. No, but the blondes. I mean, when they get the silver, you can't really see it. So you have to just it's, it works for us. So the blondes get a yellow sharpie or something. That you won't be able to see it because it blends in with their blonde hair, unless they have black roots. Didn't which we most used of to do, do commercials on this little pussy ass show? We used to have breaks, but shit. Mm-hmm. We do what? Okay. Mm-hmm. So I was just talking shit. I hope I didn't give up too much information. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. It's it's too late for them hoes. Yeah. But, but hold on, he you revealed the ball closet. Shit. Can y'all give me this, man? I spent a lot of time in hotel rooms by myself. I don't want to go out and meet some healthy girl who will get pregnant because I got the killer. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you are not going to go in business with me. I'm telling you not, bitch. Oh <laughs> the bitch is, uh, That's a sad that's truth. Wow. I'm not going to do it. So I have learned 
Stay your ass in the room. Uh, I, I jag off with the heat all the way up. As soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I bust my nut. I oh, cut, you do a Bikram. I you cut the Bikram AC is? on. He just Bikram yoga. <laughs> I you cut the AC on. I cut the AC on because I go wash up and I be cold when I get in the bed and when you cold you <laughs> so sleep you a little better. Heat to cold. <laughs> heat to cold. That's the trick, y'all. I skeet in the heat and I snow in the cold. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh Jesus! Okay. Yeah, this Here was wild, go. man. Here we go. I'm I'm confident with myself, goddammit. Mm. Uh huh. Corey That's bought me. all of this for the fans. I bought all that shit for us to eat. That's I don't know beautiful. what y'all. I am. Shy. It got I'm some chocolate strawberries on there. We gonna kill this shit, but. <laughs> He yeah, got it for yeah. the fans. I didn't buy that shit for the fans. I'm shocked. I thought we were going to eat the cake in front of these motherfuckers. Oh, we are. Here. I'm going to cut it up when we come back. They got them. drink in the building. <laughs> we needed the syringe. Don't you? Hey, we need the syringe hey. to squirt it in Corey the Corey even said here. Bobby could take a sip tonight. And uh -oh. That's so going in. <laughs> and I passed on that. Bobby did in. say so no. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby don't like to get drunk when he around me because Bobby turns into a different <laughs> motherfucker when he drunk. <laughs> Bobby we already is definitely know. a monster. Y'all saw that, that, that Thriller video uh, with right. Michael Jackson? Go away! <laughs> That's Bobby! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> 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 when Bobby get drunk? Yeah. Oh my God! Yes, I'm trying to try the corner, man. You're right. He, he got some he water in a weed oh, juice bottle. Warm ass, not fucking around. Warm ass cake and water, goddamn it! <laughs> mm -hmm. He brewed up this morning. <laughs> That's right. When he was in a pinch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, All we're right, gonna have so. we're gonna have to cut the cake in a minute now. All right, so we yeah, yeah. Cut the cake yep. Little Eat break, bullshit. Yep. Cake. Fifty one fifty nation. Cold. When we come back, we'll be back with the topic. Oh, Millions. Bet, you, what's up? bet mm. you didn't even bring nine. Oh, bang! You owe me an apology.
Gosh, that's good. Hmm. Uh, we back, motherfucker. All right, we back and shit. Uh, <laughs> Chris gave me a shot. Fucking up these edible arrangements mm. and um, this cake and shit. Darlene cut people pieces of cake. I ain't getting none, no. Oh, you didn't call. I'm so sorry, Corey. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. I ain't getting none, no. Oh, sorry. You gave your oh. bad breath ass Christmas cake. Oh, that's not- <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm talking shit. Well, I was so busy. Chris gave me a shot, and I was just looking over here. So I've been. Right. Okay. I forgot. My I'm bad. Cool. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God you ain't got to cut no cake right now, D. You ain't got to do that. God damn it. I can't eat in front of these motherfuckers. They're going to talk Why shit if I eat. <laughs> Why? Why would they talk shit? Because I got a hat on with a mouth open on this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, I don't want to touch you because you, you, you got a big... You can right. touch the motherfucker, God damn it. Hey, no, I think what people don't know is um, Zoe brought me a chocolate covered strawberry. <laughs> right I asked back. him no. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> all right, all right. That hey. was our moment, Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> what, did yeah. what did you that say? What did you say though? A, what? <laughs> hey, nigga, is this a game? I got moment? a quick question, Cody. No, did no. they did the folks no. turn it up when um you put on your Twitter that they was following you in the hotel in Boston? Yeah, they called the shit out that hotel. That motherfucker. That good, ass was good. Sick. Whoever called, man. I mean, that shit makes a difference, man, because Corey made a note of it. And I'd never seen nobody put a hotel on blast like that. And it ought to happen more frequently yeah. if that's the way they're treating us. Yo, Twitter people, man, you sent them at motherfuckers. What exactly happened? What happened when you were walking in the hotel? When I walked in the hotel, security security followed me up to my room, and I was laughing at that shit. Because, you know, I went in the room. I'm like, okay, so he saw me go in the room. Mm-hmm. Then about 10 minutes later, he knocked on the door. I was talking on the phone. He said, yo, uh, he said, he said, uh, well, first he told me, come to the door. I said, I'm in the tub, motherfucker. <laughs> There you go. You this can, is worse than I thought you it was. Your voice. No, you your voice. Your voice carries. I'm like, so I can't talk on the motherfucking phone? I was like, I'm about to have a bitch over here in a few minutes. It's really going to get loud in this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, then I, I, I started thinking about this shit. Then I called downstairs. Because uh-huh. actually, it was more to it than that. But it's just, man, it, this, this shit happens to people. Man. Mm. Mm-hmm. It needs to stop. That's one way to do it, too, man. Because they ain't used to that. I put a cherry in my mouth with white shit on it. <laughs> not you a need to finish it on out right where you got it, dude. Oh, I know y'all niggas in the chat room better not act like y'all ain't never ate a yeasty cherry. Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all mm. motherfuckers see the white shit and be lying to yourself. <clears throat> that must be cum. No, motherfucker, that's uh, build up. That's mm. suds, nigga. Suds. <laughs> <Ew. laughs> Sickly suds. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> This anyway, is going bad. This so, is sickly. Wait a second. So they don't have their shots. Why do I have a shot? I don't drink. Huh? You don't drink. You don't drink. So you ain't never drunk before. Ever? ever. You ain't you never had it? no alcohol. Did you try it? That's what's never. wrong with your ass, boy. <laughs> mm. Don't you want more bass in your voice? <laughs> <laughs> We got to get so drunk. Zoe will be like, yeah, this is Zoe the voice of reason in this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 you have a little extra ditty bop. Ain't never had yeah, no Hennessy in his throat. Nah, you don't want to see me drunk. You have an extra pep in your step. <laughs> I don't want to so. see that. Uh-oh. <laughs> what you going to do if you drunk? Okay. Mm. Y'all don't want to see that. Mm. Oh, my God. Bobby, gosh. I don't want to touch your kale, man. <laughs> Corey got a cherry. He sounded elderly to the motherfucker. He said, you touch Corey. You touch Corey. He sounded like an old boy back in the New Jack City record. Stop. An old boy. No. No, the one motherfucker. Uh, I can't think of his name. The singer nigga. Hold on, baby. We want some cake, too. (laughs) (laughs) Nick Ashley, you passed away, buddy. You know what? Why rewind that shit a million (laughs) times? That motherfucker (laughs) shit. He was looking so moist, too. (laughs) Hold on, baby. We want some cake, too. I was like, get the fuck. That was good, Corey. That sound just like it. Oh right, my right. God, that's too much. That's it. That's too much. Okay, we gotta watch. Hey, you somebody said too. we could use Skype for phone lines. Mm. Oh, they did. They got brilliant ideas out here in the, in the Twitter verse. I know we could use Skype for phone lines, but that should be blurring in and out. It'd be a motherfucker saying some real shit. Cause I, oh, 
<laughs> oh. What the fuck? Anyway, you what's okay? Wrong? What happened? What's wrong? Oh, you took a shot. Oh, D about to be turned up in here. We about to see another D. Right. Oh, oh, don't I, act like it ain't another D, Pisces. Go ahead, drink, Bobby. Yeah, <laughs> I know there's another D. Bobby, you can drink now. They got Uber nowadays, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> put your ass in the car with some victim who's driving for the night. Oh, my God. He gonna take Bobby going to be like, you are my friend. Bobby. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what real friendship is. Let me tell you is. what Jim Brown told me. <laughs> Run with balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, oh, there's Bobby. Oh, Bobby oh, laughing what he want to laugh at. Look, Bobby, you're not oh. drinking either? Gosh darn it. What, what were the only ones having the fun over here on this Bobby, side? Bobby, you done had a million oh, people man. look at your face. You should get drunk. No, no. We want to get uh, 50 million. Yeah, we do want to get more than one yeah. billion, but yeah. I was just saying a million. Oh, my God. That's, 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 really a, that's really a hell of an achievement, no doubt about <clears> it. <throat> No doubt about it. All right, so, so Zoe. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my bad. Zoe, you, you wanna, ready for the topic? Mm. I'm ready for the topic because we need to talk about this shit. Mm. All right, let's go to the topic, God damn it. <laughs> I was oh. over here enjoying my fruit, little Niggas play. ain't got no forks and shit. That's how we do it. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Take the head off. This is an interesting you. topic, though. I remember when you called it's me last week. It's deep, ain't it? This is an interesting topic. How do you protect, or should you protect, how, for, how do you protect the women in your circle? And when should you protect them, and when should you not protect them? It's a very interesting mm -hmm. topic. Mm -hmm. How do you protect the women in your circle? And we bring this up because very interesting. everybody... Whether it be your friend, your daughter, cousin, co-worker, somebody you're close to. Mm -hmm. You watch predators in their face. Men who have bad intentions. Right. And you get labeled as a hater. <laughs> or a simp. Or a simp. Or a blocker. Yeah, all that. Or a or blocker. blocker. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. If you speak. If on you it. speak on what you know. Mm. Right or right. what you think. No, yeah, you do. So with this day and time where haters, you know, don't nobody want to be called a hater or whatever. If it's a woman you care about being approached by a fuck boy. <laughs> What's happening now? Where? I don't know. I'm just what saying, somebody who's that? a fucking piece of shit, you know mm. he's a piece oh, of shit. Okay. How do you protect the people that you know and care about? Do you just walk up to the <laughs> motherfucker and be like on some gangster shit? Hey, homie, that ain't the one. Don't fuck with her. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Mm. Do it, you do it like that? I it, think it varies. It varies because what if there was a situation where you knew that she knows better and she's just choosing not to do it? I mean, there's only so far that you can go. You can't force her to get rid of the end the situation and get rid of them. It's one of those monotonous ones where you continue to try and help somebody out and they just won't do it and you just kind of get sick and you kind of just go wash my hands of it. So there's different scenarios. Now, if you had somebody that you could tell they were getting taken advantage of that's a different story but there are people where you see that they continually do that to themselves well see <clears throat> there's if you want to get clinical with it there's mm -hmm. a term called the white knight syndrome and that's what we would term in the hood captain save a hoe mm -hmm. now the white knight syndrome he's not saving you to protect you he's saving you to do something for himself that's that's different Mm -hmm. I think when you start protecting the women in your circle, it starts from a place of respect. I got respect for these women in my circle, and I don't want to see them disrespected. Mm -hmm. So I don't necessarily have to be intimately involved or like this person that way. But if I feel like that person might be in danger of being disrespected, then as a man, because let's just go back to basic male men DNA, mm -hmm. it's to protect. Yeah. It is to protect women. Yeah. Let's just be real on that end. My uh, my my play brother, who's been in prison now for for a couple years now, but when he was out, <clears throat> good friend of my ex's, right, and kind of like a step in godson or godfather to my son, 
at the time because he would help out with them and take him places and stuff like that, right? And he would, if he saw me with a guy going out with a guy, he would approach him right away. And he would say it in a nice way, you know what I'm saying? But you could tell the way he said it that they, oh, well, this guy means business. He said, oh, okay, you're getting ready to take my sister out. All right. And he'd give that look. All right, well, you enjoy yourself. You know what I'm saying? And he would give him a look, and that was it. So the only two times I've ever had a problem with a, with a man, uh, one of them was with this fireman, and he ended up kind of getting kind of kind of crazy towards the end. So I had to escort him out of my house. Remember I told you that before with my gun? So I had to escort him out of my house to tell him, he's like, oh, I really got to leave. I said, yes, you do. And I just had it. You know what I'm saying? It's just a pistol. It's not the one from the cover, but it's a little nine. And so I told him, yeah, you got to go. And he used to, we used to date, but his fire station was right by my son's baseball field. And so when, when, we, when I broke up, when we broke up and I told him to get out of, get out of my place, transferred the next day because he remembered that. You know what I'm saying? One of his supervisors he said, hey. He transferred what? He left that fire station. He, wanna be, he didn't want to be walk around there because that's where he met my brother. We were at a baseball game and they were jogging. And he was like, oh, you the dude that's dating? My oh, okay. He was like, and he checked him. This is right when I just started going out with him. It was like our second date. And he told him. He said, okay, well, you don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't do the wrong thing. And he transferred the very next day after that. This situation. is definitely a this is definitely a topic that we needed to have at least two more girls in here because yeah. girls are going to be losing their mind, wishing that they could speak their mind. We got to use <laughs> our Twitter because they will speak. There are women following us all, following us all. So let's hit us on Twitter, ladies. What do you think, but Corey? What's your uh, Twitter again? The Corey Holcomb at the Corey Holcomb, Bobby. At Glanton Smith. And at Zoe Williams. Darlene? Mm -hmm. At Darlene O. All the women, speak on it. Because you know you got you got your other side where another woman might have said, oh, hell no, mind your business. You know what I'm saying? Like, But I was like, no, okay, because the way he did it was well, out of respect. I think I'm not to protect said, Darlene, what if he didn't want to leave because the pussy was fire? You know what? Why well, don't I talk I about that's, oh, that's what got him killed, that's right? So there. sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because she said that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's so sweet. That's, that's so nice. She's like, that's a compliment. <laughs> the pussy is fire. Well, I want to. I want to say this about this situation. Now, the truth is, there are women who are close to us, whether they be our sister, mother. Whoever. Or, or even a friend's kid. Could friend, co-worker you care about. There mm -hmm. are women out here who pussy belong to the street. You know, <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Go deeper. So in that case, in those kind of women, you don't you don't even bother. With no, this is what I want to say about those women. It's very important, and I hope, I hope they hear and respond. <laughs> if your pussy belongs to the street, meaning like your pussy get passed around like flyers to a club. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. I will tell you, if I'm around somebody like that, and she's a female, and I got feelings for her, I'm not talking about might be a girlfriend. I'm talking about it could be a woman that I care about. Mm -hmm. I will tell her, you are putting the men who mm -hmm. care about you mm -hmm. in danger. In danger. In danger. <laughs> because you are reckless yeah. with your body. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because so you know you, somebody who cares about you will come to your defense, mm -hmm. and you and, and and you're not accountable for creating that situation. That's right. Go ahead, Corey. I let them know you are putting the men who are um, who care about you in danger, and what you need to understand is you are also making them numb to being sympathetic when bullshit come. Oh, and it's coming. Yes. Because it will come, yeah. Good point. In the future. Because it's going to be some bullshit motherfuckers, and you're going to say, this bullshit motherfucker did this. But because your pussy is um, <laughs> public domain. <laughs> the copyright has expired right. on this motherfucker. You look like Smart a men you look like are going to be like, look, bitch, you out there. Yeah. <laughs> you out there. So mm -hmm. that's what I want to say to the women who are... Um, Loose pussy pass out artists. Mm, 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 mm. Loose pussy pass out artists. Can I copyright that one? <laughs> Loose yep, pussy is. pass out artists. Loose pussy pass out artists. You got to make sure that your credibility amongst the people who care about you is solid. Mm. So when you say something wrong, they will know mm. something is wrong. This brother Ronan Martin 
on Twitter says, you protect women with unedited truth and genuine intent, timing, intuition, and awareness. That's what he said. Say that again, Zoe. That was deep. You protect them with unedited truth and genuine intent, timing, intuition, and situ oh, and situation awareness helps, along with tough love. That's mm. what he said. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. how you protect women in these streets. Mm. And if I approach a man about a woman, it's because I have a feeling that that man is foul. Mm-hmm. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, I don't know for sure. If I don't know for sure. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I will tell you whether I know for sure or not. If this shit ain't working, you probably should get the fuck away from my sister. <laughs> <laughs> because it's my sister, right, man. That's right. It. That's all. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and yeah. no matter what. It's my sister, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. God damn it, that's who I'm riding with. Right, right. right. So if I got a sister that's insane, I tell men, don't fuck with that bitch. <laughs> so do that you bitch think will bring drama to both of us, brother. <laughs> Stay away. You see how that bitch talking? You see how that bitch talk to me? <laughs> well, you see a bitch talk to a family like that shit. Oh, yeah. That bitch is no good to anybody. Mm -hmm. That's a great point. Mm. Mm. You got to watch who you fucking with. So if I got a, a sister or somebody who I feel like is insane or... A friend who I feel like is insane, but even though it's different with a friend for some reason, you know what I mean? I can't even really explain. I mean, blood is thicker than water, but I'm just saying, it's like people who are insane. Somebody just said, Zoe protects Candy Bar Brown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You know you did. Did. You did. But Cora, are you? Are <laughs> you who you did? did. Cora, are there different situations like you mentioned your sister? How far would you go if something happened after you already predicted it was going to happen? How far would you go in defense of her? It's your sister. Or uh, somebody, you know, not a particular person, but any uh, somebody that's acting real crazy, right? It's all relative. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like. Yep. It happens the way it happens, and it happens when it happens. Oh, Even though I'm smart okay. enough to know, and smart, I can't get sent off. My sister told me one day something about my little brother. <laughs> you know, ran it over here uh, when they got into it, mm -hmm. and then I let her calm down, and then I say, "Okay, now what, now really what happened? happened? <laughs> yep. What happened?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Both of them was wrong. Right, right. You see what but I'm see, saying? When some but go she down, didn't say she was wrong. Right. right. When some goes down, a lot of times women do not acknowledge their contribution to, to what it. went right. down. That's right. It's yeah. always his reaction mm -hmm. to me is the final reaction. Let me go get my brother. Right. And then how many brothers or cousins or in nephews right now, are in jail or dead? That's right. Because there was an unaccountable party, usually on the female side, that didn't take responsibility for what created the right. calamity in the first you, place. You are so right. And I've actually taken a, a position where I have had an opportunity to create something. Like somebody disrespected me, not so much to the point where I wanted to get anybody else involved because it would have been bad. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I went, oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's what you were about. Okay. But you know what? I'm going to save you because I'm not even going to say anything to, about this. I'm going to let this slide because it's going to be bad for you. Mm. And I just told him, I said, don't, but you should never say that to anybody else because you don't know what the hell is coming from behind me. But I'm not even going to mention that. Right. And it's just one person. So if I ever said anything about what, what he did or said, it would have been on. It I don't think they, they, they are teaching young girls that level of responsibility right. anymore because I see a lot of women that they are grown now. And... They don't even think about the consequences <laughs> of, their of their behavior. And they'll put the, um, their brothers or other friends of theirs in terrible situations. Yeah, they're dudes. When they're they, if they'd have been raised properly, they'd have known, look, you're a woman. Don't start nothing you can't finish. And don't be bringing other people into it without full knowledge of what's going on. I agree what with if you. you. What if you have a caring heart? For a whore. Mm. You, 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 she ain't even coming to your film. <clears throat> <laughs> Somebody said Zoe looked like Shane Mosley. I've been in a film, man, where a girl got a man killed and it was some bullshit. And people were looking at her like, you know, you're a rotten bitch, man. This man didn't have to die like this. I've been to several films like that. But, but true, 
But at the same time, women need to be socialized to be more responsible and accountable for what happens Mm -hmm. to them because of them. Mm -hmm. But also men need to be socialized to understand the difference between protecting a woman who deserves protection Mm -hmm. and simping for one who does not. Mm -hmm. That's true. Be less friends. Do you you remember uh, that horrible tragedy that happened to um, Jennifer Hudson's family? And he didn't even kill the woman that he was messing around with, her sister. He killed their family. Remember, he killed the mom, her, the, the little brother, her son, and the brother. Do you remember that? A couple years ago. You know that, right? Yeah, I remember that. What and happened? What was the, the what sister, was the, oh, my God. The, was, the sister was dating a, a guy that, you know, like an ex-con. He was a troublemaker, <laughs> and they all knew it. And, he, and, and she didn't want to get back with him, and he went and he killed everybody. That's what they yeah. said the story was. Exactly, but that's what I'm saying. See, they, she never said anything. Mm. Nobody ever got her side of the story, but he didn't kill her. He <laughs> killed all these other innocent people. Mm. So. Goddamn right. Damn. Yeah, it's, it's a tricky subject, man. Mm-hmm. Really, yeah. you know. So, so what's family the one tell sign, Bobby, oh, right. of like something comes to your mind and goes, that's not a woman that I should really get involved with or seek to protect. Like what is the telltale sign of that? Use when you it, make that decision. Use it loudness. You know, when something that should be discussed in private gets discussed in, in public and very, very loudly. Mm. And it puts you in an awkward position because, personally, I've never hit a woman since I've been grown. But I sure wanted to a thousand times, man, because it's just like, why would you even think you could face. talk to me like that? Uh-huh. You know? Right. And, and and what are you doing in my face like this? Bobby you know? shows a lot of constraint if he's never hit a woman. No, nah, it ain't even constraint, man. I, I, I know exactly why I do it. it. I can't win. There's no championship for knocking out no It one. is a lose-lose situation. You don't get right. no points for it, man. Mm-hmm. Just because of how we're socialized. Yeah. It's a lose-lose situation. No so you're saying if you walked in on a woman. Here we go. Here we go. With her finger <laughs> in Up one your of nephews. your nephew's mm-hmm. booty hole. I ain't been there, so that's a whole different thing. And had a symbol on her hand. I'm coming out of retirement. What? I'm coming out of retirement for that one. You're going to knock out. It's going to be worse than that. Well, okay. Right. Yeah. So don't ever think these holes out here <laughs> are above being touched. I didn't say that. I said I, I just always go do my best to avoid <laughs> knocking the shit out of bitches. Yeah. But it's bitches it's out here the time. who will put you in that position. Where you'll be like, oh, man. I'm going to knock the shit out of this bitch. <laughs> but but oh, even when you're put in that position, and I know, I mean, I've been in bad positions, and, you know, you know, when I was younger, I hit a woman, and, you know. So you ain't hit a woman since when? When was the last time you hit a woman, Zoe? Let's see. The last time I hit one or shook one up. Or held one back or pulled That's one back. That's the same charge. That's you know okay, what well, <laughs> Let's say. Uh, make it sound good as you want. <laughs> no, no, no. I, it's a slow. I'll yeah. be but totally it, honest. The, the last time that happened was with my ex-girlfriend. I think that was uh, 2011. Mm. She was coming at you or you were prote- or you were grabbing her from somebody else? You know, we just got into a tussling match. Ooh, it was a big, good. nasty argument. Then when we broke up from mm. that moment. Mm. Mm. I mean, my baby mama slapped the shit out my ass. <laughs> the reason she got me so clean is because I didn't believe this bitch had the audacity. I thought this bitch was gonna scratch her head. Even when I saw the open hand by my jaw, I said, this bitch ain't for the hit me. Right, right, right. This bitch is not for the hit me. Next it was in slow motion and shit. I, when I saw that spit fly out my mouth, I knew I should have at least split. Because I said, this bitch just got me. Oh, my God. <laughs> but in retaliation, oh, instinctively, hell. my daughter was still an infant mm. <laughs> mm. crying because we was arguing with each other. Mm-hmm. Spit flew out my mouth, <laughs> but this bitch neck turned all the way around. <laughs> When I got that finger, when my finger let that jaw go, like that, <laughs> it did the whole bit. <laughs> what happens, Corey? Ooh. That was the last time I really hit a woman. Uh, uh, mm. And mm. I, I, I'm not going to lie. It was a reaction. I could not help it. Yeah. Bitch, I couldn't believe I got slapped. Right. I don't ever want to hit no woman that hard again, mm. but that bitch slapped the shit out my head. <laughs> 
I seen YouTube right. videos where it be girls getting mad and they right. hit dudes. Right, oh, real yeah. hard too. Yeah. And I'm yeah. just saying, I tell any woman I care about, yeah. don't, don't hit no man. Don't don't come don't. Up, man. Oprah, uh, yeah. uh, Whoopi Goldberg agrees with you. Mm -hmm. And this is not the glorification of yeah, no, hitting up with women. Definitely, better not hit no man, cause what? a motherfucker will beat her ass. Why? <laughs> Let me let me ask you why y'all tell me if y'all think I'm wrong. The uglier the bitch, Here we go. the harder you hit her. Do you think that's wrong? What is that wrong or is yeah, that some wrong. shit that's in my mind? That's, that's in your that's, mind. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. But it's understandable. Yeah, they didn't torture yeah. you. It's understandable. What so are you, you talking so about? She looks like <laughs> that's who you to get tomahawk. Ugly bitches get stole on girl, all the like time. Amarosa's ex husband, whoever that is, right? The big dude from well, the Green Mile. The the oh, yeah. <laughs> if they look like that, you think they get beat up? You think they I, get? I don't know. All I'm saying is, when a bitch is ugly, she really need to realize she don't can get there. beat the fuck up. Yeah. Ugly bitches get. No nah, man, it's no. not good. No. Ugly no. bitches get two pieces. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Cute bitches at the most get slapped. Ugly bitches. Be like this. You ain't had to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. But domestic <laughs> violence yeah. is Bobby Brown's jaw when you ugly bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> domestic <laughs> violence <laughs> is a major issue though in relationships. But what doesn't get covered because of the social narrative is that women are as violent or more so violent than men. Especially and when you start doing the stats, you go to the CDC, you go to uh, different clinicians, like there's a, a psychiatrist, psych I mean, psychologist down at uh, UCLA, mm -hmm. uh, Benjamin Carney, he wrote a book called Intimate Relationships. They break the whole thing down. I believe that. Women in the category of what is considered moderate violence and aggression, way more than men. And what they consider moderate aggression... Is what Corey's baby mama did to him. Mm -hmm. Slapping, kicking, Kicking's throwing yep. things, Getting in their spitting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Women do that at a clip that ellipses men, eclipses men by light years. I believe but that. But what they only focus on is the violence from men to, to women. women right. Because the, the social standard says men should be able to take whatever a woman throws That's at them. That's what I was going to say. That's why the but women take advantage. But when men hit back... We Those break women. women. Well, you yeah. think I'm going to take that shit. But look, let me ask you something, Zoe. That, so your homegirl, who you work with every day, y'all real cool. Okay. Y'all mm -hmm. work together. Yeah. Y'all walk outside the office, mm -hmm. and her boyfriend just start slapping the shit out of her ass repeatedly. What are you going to do? I work with her. You work with her. You've known her seven, eight years. Let's put it in con. Let's put it in context. Say it's Brandy. Who is Brandy? Marcus's assistant. Somebody they care. The little oh, light skin. The little light skin. Right. But everybody don't know her. But let's no, say. Very nice. But I, I have very, to put it in that so I can. Brandy see is it. a very nice girl. Yes. Yeah. Very beautiful girl. I would, I would step in. I would step in and and, and at the <laughs> very least. <laughs> No, listen. You won't call the police. At the very least, I would break that up. As well, a matter of fact, let me give you. Because that's kind of like what camp is your instinct. You just, you just I would step you in and break that up. Let me give you a real life example. I'm on the way to the grocery store. I see this young gang member. I don't know this gang member. I know the gang members on my block. Mm -hmm. But I don't know this young kid. And him and this girl, they both young. They can't be 19, 21. Go they around. going at it. I, I walk right to the dude. I don't know him. He could have a strap. He could have whatever. I walk right to him. I grab him by his, his arm. I pull him to the side. I say, man, this is about to go bad for you. You don't want to do this, right? You don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. I said, because you already irate out here in these streets. You got gang affiliation? Yeah, I got gang affiliation. But she tripping it. Whoop, whoop. Oh. I said, dude, the next step is you losing your cool. The next step is you hitting her and you going to jail. Uh, yeah. Have you been to jail? Are you on probation? Now, every time I see this nigga, he call me Pops. What up, Pops? 
because I saved him from some shit. Now, sometimes you got to intervene when it's like that. You can peep the scenario you out. You could keep going, yeah. and then some shit happened, two yeah. lives are ruined. Or you can chance it. Now, I don't say this for every situation. Yeah, if there true. was two grown-ass motherfuckers yeah, yeah. out there. You'd be like, okay, hold up. I gotta... You know, you know, Ving Rhames type nigga up there <laughs> going at him. I'm not, I, I might get on the phone and be like, hey, this shit's hey. getting bad. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you ain't going to be pops to him? Mm. Damn, bro. Right. That's but tough. at the end of the day, I step to that kid mm. and that kid respects me to this day mm. for doing that. Mm. But not every situation, like you said. You can I ain't talking out. about no kid. I'm talking about you Grown get off work. Uh-huh. Grown ass <laughs> nigga. Here we go. With a tank top, Bobby rollers in his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't the shit out of this bitch. And it's somebody I've been knew. working with yeah, for I had seven to years, yeah. saying, "Bitch, why the fuck you ain't answer your phone? You gonna step to this motherfucker?" I would like, step in. Hey, player, you can't hit her like that. I would step in. What about you, Bobby? In that situation, man, I, I'm gonna have to say something, man. I'm gonna yeah. step in. I say something. I, I don't know how much further it's gonna go before. I hope it's, you know, diffused. Because most time say, when a guy mm-hmm. beating up on a woman like that, I mean, he really ain't that dude, man. You know, he really ain't that dude. But you're crazy, like motherfucker. Zo yeah. hiding behind a trash can on the cell phone <laughs> calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> the, look, the look got a lot to do with it, too. Because if he got a certain look on his, his face <laughs> and she got a certain look on her face and it don't, it don't match up quite right, then maybe I'm going to do the 911 thing. Because sometimes she's going to look like... I, I shouldn't have did that to you. I want to let everybody in the world know that is a no win situation. It is. For it me. is. You have to use your instincts with. Purely. Because yeah. I done seen dudes get stabbed in the back by the bitch the dude was beating on while he get, <laughs> she get into it with <laughs> yeah. her yeah. dude. And then they stay together. I totally I a, agree. I know a little dude. We used to hoop together every day. He got murdered. Mm-hmm. Um, this dude was beating up his girl on the CTA, the train in Chicago, mm-hmm. and all Chucky said, according to reports, was, hey, man, cool out, man. The police be getting on these trains. The dude turned around and yeah. shot yeah. Chucky. Yeah. See? Oh, my That's happened no. more frequently than... I bring this up because I'm letting you know. I it totally is. Agree. You have to You have to use your instincts in mm-hmm. this situation, but it's very dangerous when you are a man, a manly man, because I will tell a motherfucker... Who beating up his girlfriend in front of me, motherfucker? You punking me out. If the bitch lets you beat her up, you beat her up when I ain't around, motherfucker. Right. Don't beat the bitch up in front of me, cause I'm not no bitch. Right, right, right. right, right. I tell a motherfucker that. Right, right, right. Beat right. The, y'all, if that's how y'all get out, do that shit. Don't do that shit around me. <laughs> <laughs> you basically that's telling me talk. I'm a yeah, bitch right, by beating right. this bitch ass in, in front, front of me. Right, right, right. If this bitch follow you home after that, then beat the bitch ass. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I'm um, saying, but while I'm standing here, yeah. and this is a friend of mine, that's you much, can't yeah. beat the shit out of this bitch in front of me. You right. got to step in. Mm. It's and that's the situation, but, though. So you got to understand, that's the distinction between protection and simping. Some motherfuckers think stepping in is simping. I don't know what the bitch did. I know it's some scandalous rotten bitches out here, and I say that to him, too. Yeah. But brother, you can't beat the bitch ass in front of me. <laughs> you punking me out. Right. right. That's real talk. Right <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? Right. That is real so talk. I pray to God that never happened to nobody. Mm-hmm. But I right. done seen motherfuckers snatch their girl up. One day I was uh when I was I was a really young man. We was in college and this girl we was fucking with her. She we knew she had a boyfriend and um, you know, he just grabbed her in front of us. He walked up to us, he was like, What's up, man? He grabbed the bitch by the neck and threw her in the car. We couldn't say shit. <laughs> we happened. know that's her boyfriend. Right. <laughs> we just was like, God damn. Right. So we was happy to see the bitch the next day and shit. You right. know, she looked like she was gonna heal up soon, but <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what nothing we could do about that. Here's the situation, and you know the the, the place, the cork, right? Mm. On uh, Adam. The cork. We was going to a meeting. Uh, yeah, uh, Big Self. Had, he was facing. They were closing him down, trying to close him down. He'd ask some people to come and meet him there and go down to the courthouse with him, right? This woman came running down the street. Uh, he he's after me. He's after me. And before Self could uh, shut the door, she didn't hopped in his rain road. Oh, right? <laughs> and here come this dude, right? And he like. Get out the car. 
and Seth is stuck, man. He like, you know, do I, you know, what do I do? Yeah. Put her out or, or what? <laughs> but then the security guard came out with that pistol in his pocket. Mm-hmm. And Seth said, everybody just be cool because, you know, he knew that a, a security guard would have killed him if because he, he had his hand in his pocket, right? And we all sitting there like, man, pull off, man. You know, this done got ridiculous. Well, you still but had the, her in the car? But, no, she's jumped in the car. So she's in there with she's you. She's in the you car, and off. the guy's trying to get her to get out of the car. And mm-hmm. he got his hand in his pocket. Who and got his hand in his pocket? The guy that was chasing out. <laughs> Bone thugs and Bobby. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mess, man. Stop. It is an absolute mess. Cause Seth really want to pull it out. You know what I mean? Cause I ain't finna pull off with this bitch. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna be like, why the car? fuck did you get he, in my car? He what the shot fuck? At the car as you running off too. But the security you don't know guard what that bitch said, did. No. But the security guard was, and that's the only reason he was so cool. Cause he told me, I said, man, I, I really want you to pull out for something, man. He said, now nah, the security guard came out the door as soon as he heard all that that, that commotion, and he, you know, he was packing. And he told me, he said, I, I wouldn't want it to, but I'd really kill this dude mm. himself had looked at me a certain way. It was a complete mess, man. Mm. Well, I, 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 that, that's a no-win situation in every angle. Yeah. Mm. Is, is, there ever a, is there ever a situation where you go, there's a woman and a man fighting, and you just say, I'm not helping, period. Yeah. I'm yeah. not intervening. What situation is that? I saw my dad do that. A neighbor in front of his house, and he was like, "Uh, uh-uh. uh." And I said, oh, "They ain't none of our business." And I'm like, "Yep." And he was like, "No, no, no. They they do it all the time." No, I'm just gonna we'll call we'll call some people up. But he's like, "No, I'm not gonna get involved." And he said, "Every time any of the other neighbors got involved, they stay together. She just keeps going." Well, back. see, that goes back to the relationships mm-hmm. game rules. Mm-hmm. Like Corey said, if y'all get down like, like that, that, if you guys have those kinds of game rules in your relationship. Right. It's not, I can't get involved in that. Because if I get involved in that, I look like an intruder. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Right? And this is how motherfuckers be getting hurt up. Right. Because you think something is happening, you need to step in and intervene. And the woman mm-hmm. that you're trying to save is now stabbing you or, or hurting you because you she done turn around you put hands on man. him. Yep. My yeah, homie was telling, my homie Lav Love, he a comedian, he was telling me about he has a cousin, female cousin, and she always getting beat up by her man, but this fool in a wheelchair. The man in the wheelchair? The man in the wheelchair. So they went over there one day, and they was fighting. And, um, you know, she was looking out the window, talking about, he, you know what I'm saying, I, he crazy or whatever. And they was like, come down. <laughs> 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 and he can get you. Oh, my God, He's no. in a wheelchair. You stop. Walk down the stairs, you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm trying to pitch her. Oh my she god! She must have been bending over. <laughs> That's no. what I'm saying. God what the man. fuck? How can a motherfucker <laughs> in a wheelchair? I know Next a bitch. on Fox, oh, when man. cripples attack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know a bitch. Her name that is. That is messed up. Her name is Julie. Uh oh. Is that a real name? Bitch date a motherfucking wheelchair. She always talk about he cheat on her and all this shit. What <laughs> in that? <laughs> wheelchair pimp. <laughs> I'm like, so let me get this right. <laughs> stop, stop. This motherfucker always cheating on you, nigga? <laughs> hey, he rolling around, nigga. <laughs> he rolling everywhere. <laughs> this nigga got oh amazing God. dick under that That's motherfucking um, mm-hmm. leg that don't work. Well, so there, there's, a, there's a beauty salon that's down in Inglewood, and there's a guy who's an owner. He's got long hair. I, forgot, I don't want to say his name, but one of my girlfriends talks about him all the time. He has a gang of girls that want to get with him, and he's got wooden legs. He takes, he snaps it off. <laughs> I keep hearing about him. I'm like, really? And they're like, yeah, he looks like Prince, girl. I'm like, ew. But they say that he gets in the bed and he snaps some legs off. It's crazy that, that mm. girls can actually. He takes his legs off. Yeah, the bottom from the knees down. Man, you got something else. Some people, I, I, was, I had this one bitch with. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what did Bobby say? Yeah. He got something else. He got I a, had a bitch with them legs. Oh, he got yeah. Legs. Yeah. <laughs> I had a bitch with them legs that's, that's missing, and uh, she used to always keep them wrapped. One day she took the wrap off that leg and um, it, huh? it smelled like feet. <laughs> wait, it was a real. This bitch mean? had feet knees. <laughs> <laughs> I said, wait a minute, bitch, is that some? Oh, what the man. fuck is that smell? <laughs> she had feet knees. Feet knees. <laughs> I was like, bitch, I ain't never uh, thought a knee could uh, smell uh, like that. Uh, boy. You be fucking <laughs> amputees, boy. <laughs> Damn it's it. better because a lot of times with women who ain't yeah. fucked up, you hold the ankles. 
Huh, you just be on top. Hold them li- nubs them like this. <laughs> like turntables and shit. Oh, but she got comfortable around me after about like six turntable. months. Yeah. It took yeah, them took them rep off their legs. It was fold the doctor did a good job folding the meat. <laughs> the meat was real smooth and shit at the top. Even though the knee part was I could tell where the knee was at. Oh, oh man. No, that little chicken wing part, it was it was probably about six inches of leg under the knee. Each oh, knee. Oh, Damn. So it looked like this. <laughs> and she took the wrap off it. It stank. It smelled like feet. Where did you meet her, oh Corey? I met that bitch at one of the shows. That bitch was like, 51, 50, thank you. I was like, wow. So I'm going to try this. Oh my god! What? Oh. I wonder, are there some real bad amputees? Oh wait, I got one for you. Do you got no, you so, I got one for you, and I got video and photos. Don't you remember? Did you ever used to go to the NWA pool parties? They said back in the day that were nasty as all get up. I, I personally no. Wow, they should release those party tapes for the movie. They had oh, amputees there. No, I'm c- getting to it. They They're, had an amputee party? Amputee strippers? No, 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 no. The whole party was just crazy. Just crazy. But no, there was a girl, and I bet you everybody in L.A. around that, that time period knows who I'm talking about. She was in a wheelchair. Very pretty, pretty. You know who I'm talking about? Boom. I have actual videotape of her because one time I actually went and I was a judge at a contest. And it was a bikini contest. She saw that the girl standing up was taking everything off. And sure enough, she took her top off. She couldn't get the bottoms off. And she of tried, course she couldn't. She tried wiggling. But she gets crazy like that. And I don't want to say his name. Is she a pretty? a couple of basketball players that slept with her. And we asked him one time. No, we asked him. She had the all-star break fucking niggas. She was a groupie. This and she is was bad. in a wheelchair in L.A. And she was known. You know exactly what I'm talking about, huh? She would go to those pool parties. And just roll around, and she had a little bikini on her, and she would get in those contests. And she would. That'd she be was, so funny to pull a bikini off a leg that ain't all the way there. Mm. No, 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 but she had. Like, you know how the bikini, you gotta go her. all the way to huh. the feet? Yeah. See, he knows her. She was paralyzed from the waist down, so she had all her. She, <laughs> she had all her legs. Terrible. What did, what did, what did, what did, so she was paralyzed from the so waist down, so she her had her leg. We asked, I'm not gonna say something, but we asked this well, that we knew that got with her. And we asked him, like, how do you, are you serious? And he goes, oh, yeah. And he goes, no, he just took it. He got, Chris, got can her we out the chair, some pictures? Got her out the wheelchair, just threw her on the bed or whatever. Because no. her, her legs yeah. are just heavy. She, she has no paralyzed. control. You can bite Move the on. shit yeah. out of her feet. <laughs> oh, my God. Move on. Well, but anyway, can, she You can was bite beautiful. that damn toe off, God damn it. She'd be like, give it to me, motherfucker. Stop. She wouldn't feel it. She wouldn't know what you're doing. But she was. She was a very pretty girl, but Fuck. her behavior was just. I fucked that bitch in the dark with a sharpie. I had that leg, all kind of shit drip, written on that motherfucker. <laughs> What's up? She well, she paralyzed. She can't feel her leg. That is messed up. Mm. Anyway. You can't hit them bitches from the back, goddammit. I don't give a fuck how you try to prop them up. They can't prop themselves up. I, you try no, to prop them up. They got a. They got. Or maybe you can like put put. They a got a paralyzed bitch kit. Oh man. Oh, you ain't never been paralyzed to that, bitch kid. You ain't never been to that adult oh. store. Y'all only shop at them regular adult stores. The one on Hollywood. The chest? No, <laughs> the the paralyzed home. bitch kit. Oh, that's man. not a bitch kit. That's, that's a swing. Bad. That's for people that. What is a, a paralyzed leg. bitch kit? <laughs> you got to it's, it's a swing. You can it's fuck them bitches from the back, but you got to have that swing tied up right. <laughs> Oh them bitches God. fall hard than a motherfucker. <laughs> like 18 pigeons dropped out the sky when them bitches fall. If that swing ain't up there right, boy. That swing got to be right. <laughs> this shit done went bad. Oh, a million God. views, bitches. Oh, oh, 18 God. episodes. Man, that paralyzed so pussy get wet, too, though. Hmm. That paralyzed pussy, you be looking at it. I'd like to see some of those videos because those were classic parties. What about a blind well. girl? The bitch or a paralyzed deaf girl. right with a back end, so she was able to throw it back, but her legs weren't moving. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> she threw the tail at you. This <laughs> bitch's spine still work, but her legs look like ornaments on a Christmas tree. <laughs> 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 bitch look like I was at a Muppet show or some Ooh, shit. My lord. Oh, what's the Muppets? We had the strings up there. What's mm. they call? Puppets. Yeah. Now the puppets yeah. when you put your hand in the motherfucker, mm. do like this. Puppets and oh, puppets, puppets too. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I need to put a string on that bitch when I fuck. Oh my mm. God. <laughs> uh, this is bad. 
I don't understand. This is bad. <laughs> you can't handle bitch. You mouth paralyzed. You like bitch. You're done. Is that possible? The hell? Can yeah. a woman's mouth be a uh, person's mouth be paralyzed? Lock jaw. Mm -hmm. Oh, it would just never open. I, I remember this girl, she had locked y'all. They couldn't figure it out. It took a couple of days, but I was like, damn, I'm only in town for a couple of days. You know what? So I fucked the bitch with locked y'all, man. That bitch. Oh, she had it locked open. I thought it was yeah, locked it was, shut. Yeah, it was open. Like, she couldn't close. She tried to, it hurt when she closed it, so her you mouth was open. <laughs> Uh, and plus, I had took some shit. Well, uh, you know, I, I was I couldn't I was I couldn't oh, feel it really. My God. I think there was some muscle relaxers, so oh, I was just oh my God. making little spitball, <laughs> throwing it in the mouth. While I was like, oh my God! What's wrong with Corey, y'all? What man? Y'all don't <laughs> have no fun in life, you regular, <laughs> regular fucking go. motherfucker. See, though, you need to I'm have just one saying. Of See, I'm just, <laughs> if I had a drink and then I woke up next to a paraplegic. Mm. So you need to drink sometime, It would be bad. Mm. Mm. How can you reason without alcohol? Mm. <laughs> How can you reason without it? <laughs> you need alcohol to reason. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't with this guy. Back to the topic. Yes, please. Protecting women. When should you? When shouldn't you? Hmm. If yo. This is what happened to me for real. This is the only thing I love. We in Detroit. My homeboy girl was a stripper. Right. We did the little comedy show. He was a comedian. We went and picked his girl up. Mm -hmm. She was finna get off, so she came over there. She was butt naked. Mm -hmm. What's the Corey? Gave me a hug, right? You know, because I know her. But butt naked. Yeah. And she was like, hold on, I'm going to get dressed, then we can go. Oh so then she got in the car with clothes on. And I felt like it was a game. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Would you be mad at me if I took your girl to the VIP? <laughs> <laughs> wow. What if your friend girl right is promiscuous? Yeah, he used to it. What kind of relationship is that? It's kind of odd when yeah, your girl. Yeah. And then how do you protect her? That's why would I brought you, it up. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. If or I was he, in the VIP with his girl, and I left out of there with my fingers stinking, mm. you know what? Oh. <laughs> do that interfere with our friendship? Of course. Depending on what kind of cat he is, for real. Because you know, the more money you spend, the further you can go with strippers. Is that not a, is that not a fact? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck if the bitch say, I just did. When you pull out that honey. <laughs> It's on it. Okay. Yeah. Oh. When you pull out that second hundred, goddammit, the yeah. bitches be like, but you gotta wear a rubber. Oh. <laughs> oh, pull man. out the other hundred. <laughs> you ain't gotta wear a rubber. <laughs> Dump off in. <laughs> you can skeet up in her for 300. Oh, boy. Mm -mm. Let's talk about it at the nice club. <laughs> So do you save that girl? You fuck them bitches raw. Uh, what at, if you was her at brother? At the pink slip in St. Louis, you go raw in them holes in that little back room. <laughs> I'm just saying, what if that was your sister? Like, and he's how, be dripping about them bitches. Go ahead. What if that, what if that was somebody's sister? How would that sister's brother deal with that situation? If your sister is a stripper, what do you do? How do you protect? You stay alive, man, and out of her business. So you saying by trying to protect your sister that is a stripper? You could definitely be putting yourself in harm's way. Well, you, you said it. Because of the nefarious business deal I she's doing. Like that. Sometimes, as I think Darlene said, uh, you can't protect people against themselves. You know, if a person put themselves in a situation where that's a likelihood, what are you going to really do, man? Right, unless you were there and you were witnessing it. But if she's you know. at a strip club and she's saying somebody's. Somebody said, so. The brother knows she's a hoe. <laughs> He's like that's what yeah. this bitch. What do. if your What if your daughter a stripper, Bobby, and somebody and she walk up to you and she said, "That dude in the VIP rammed his thumb in my ass." Uh, I'm gonna say, what I, would you tell her? I would tell her, look. I told him don't do that, and he did it anyway, and she was crying. I'm gonna say, let's go. 
And if you don't want that, that to happen again, <laughs> find another occupation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you I'm not gonna get fucked up over this bullshit because you had no business down here, no goddamn. Now I'm gonna be in the car and the door be open <laughs> and you come run out and jump in this motherfucker. We drop. Oh, so what about your, what about if your daughter was a stripper? She she but she really paying us her, her tuition off and everything. But one day this dude had her in the VIP. <laughs> Nigga. And he put his big toe in her ass. He forced her down. And he said, just be still, bitch. Let me get my toe in your ass. It'll be over. <laughs> and she came out of there and told you, but she was crying. But the dude was still over there. He was drunk. And he was smaller than you, so I'll make it better. Why is he going to be smaller? Because I want Zoe to say something to him. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna say something to him anyway, nigga. Oh, see? Oh, don't sleep on us, Hold on, you got you got these niggas fucked up in here, nigga. I'm sorry, I don't know. Mm. So First off, so I say so with reason with him. Mm. Why you like your foot shitty? Why you want to be a shitty foot, nigga? <laughs> Let's talk about this obsession you have with sticking your big toe in mm. in niggas' daughters' asses. Have you ever did it? No, I've never Don't put my big toe. Don't try, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Mm. <laughs> Somebody says Zoe would ask for his freedom papers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. messed the up. Fuck? Damn. Anyway. But uh, it's easy for us to speak on what would we do. But again, you don't know until at that moment. Well, I'm going to protect my daughter. man was at your house and you didn't have your oh, gun. Man. Yeah, I'm going to protect my daughter. How you going to protect that? Her? And he wanted to force his hoes. How you gonna protect him? No, I'm just talking. Scoop her up and take her. No, you better stop. You can't snatch her. Yeah, I can. You can't what? what? Oh, that's deep. What? You gonna snatch her out of there? I'm gonna grab my daughter. Oh, and just take her and say that. Enough is enough. She's gonna call the police on you, (laughs) and they're gonna say, "Let that bitch be in there, (laughs) (laughs) or we'll lock your black hands up." (laughs) Let her be in there. That's what they gonna say. You freedom fighter ass nigga. Man style. Fucking hotep nigga. Oh, boy. No, uh, but again, you don't know until, she grow. until the moment. <laughs> I, I think all, all this time we could always speculate what we would think we would do in those situations. But again, at that moment when it's like adrenaline going. What? And all, yeah, you my don't know thing what you're going to do. My so daughter is a stripper. I'm going to tell her every time she tell me about something went wrong in the strip club. <laughs> Yo, pussy belong to the streets, bitch. <laughs> Don't tell me about these adventures well, that's, that's happening to you. No, and you in a strip club, you right. funky bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck if you're my daughter and I love you. You're a funky hoe. <laughs> and as long as you live in that funky hoe life, that is. foot, feet, and everything going to be in your yeah, pussy, yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. You lucky it's a foot in your pussy. Right. Oh, my God. Mm. I didn't know you were talking about the calls, like to tell somebody later. I'm no. talking about at the heat of the this moment. This motherfucker wild. Of these, one of these moments were happening with your daughter. And she you got were, more and options than that. I wouldn't give a fuck if I was at the strip club um, getting lap dances with bitches. I would tell my daughter, these bitches are bitches I'm paying. <laughs> I ain't going to lap dance with you. I seen that pussy in Pampers. Oh, I don't want to see that pussy. Oh, I want to see these bitches your age that I didn't see in Pampers. Uh, That's what I'm going to say. Somebody oh, said boy. Zoe would put the nigga, would put a condom on the nigga's big toe before he put it. Oh, no, stop. Oh, you guys. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, nah, so only so much you can do, man. Really, for real. It's only so I know when I go to strip clubs, I always wear mesh. Mesh shorts with no draw. You know what? Okay, what the fuck? Man? Well, I'll be in that VIP. Them hoes be like, you nasty. I'm going to bitch shit on this dick. Oh you want this 20, don't you, bitch? <laughs> Them bum ass bitches degrade themselves. <laughs> if you got $100 in the strip club, your this dick happening. can get touched. It's happening. Oh it's going God. down. Right you at least thing. get your dick touched. <laughs> Is this one of those shows that the women are going to watch and then later come back and say, we yeah, were scarred and, and, and hurt? By other women, and we were broken down, and now we hate women, and this is why we do these types of shows. I'm going to say, look, you lousy bitch. It's a million people that agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's a million. Hey, one million. Oh, God damn it. It's a million this is a celebration, people. bitches. It's, a million, it's the million man march of real shit going on right here. <laughs> so how, how have you managed your circle, Corey, over the years? What? Based on, how have you managed the circle of women <laughs> that you have to make that decision about? Manage the circle of women. Of women. It includes your your family <laughs> and the girls that you dated. What did you mean? 
No, this is what I'm saying. Like, I'll answer Bobby's question. Bobby, I trust my instincts. If I feel like a girl ain't down with me, I'm not going to have her around That's me. That's all I want to know, man. I could never be around a woman that ain't down for me. Okay. As soon as I identify a bitch that ain't down with me, I get the fuck away from her. Or I pay her for her services and tell her, look, I'm trying to break even with you, bitch. I'm what not is your friend. Okay, what, what, is what, what, what about this scenario right here? <laughs> this girl that you're dealing with loosely like that, and it plays out in your face, right? Dude, what? This, this crazy dude. He come up on her, and she done lied to you and told you she ain't got no man, all that kind of bullshit, and now they got this thing going on right in front of you. Why would it be going on in front of me? Because she brought it to your door. Said she lied, said she, she didn't have no man. This guy been calling all day. Bitches and shit, don't you know, know where I live. Huh? <laughs> ain't no bitch gonna bring shit to my door. That bitch gonna Dang. call the phone, just like you said. Bobby told me one day the bitch called him and said, this nigga over here jumping on me. And Bobby said, well, call the police and call me when they put him out. <laughs> Shut up. No. You are. <laughs> Bobby just said I'm on my way. <laughs> did, did you tell me that, Bobby? It was the true story, man, because that wasn't my business, man. It right. Business, right. Business, call the police. Please. Why'd you call me? Right. Call me after that. Who was this? Was it a relative? No. Nah, this was, was random. Oh, well, then there you go. See, that's different. Had to do with that the shit. The fucking mm. chat room has been on fire oh, this okay. whole goddamn show. Mm. Stick a plunger in her ass. Oh, they just go. They crazy. Them hoes be acting like that hurt. I mean, these. This is basically our phone line. Yeah. So maybe we should ask them the question: Ugh. When do you protect the sister? When do you opt not to? I'd like to Somebody hear. Somebody said my their gator response. died of Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet on these. <laughs> so, so. Oh my god! That's so silly. <laughs> oh um, boy. Mm, mm, hell no. Nah. Well, I, I'll oh, put it to you like this. This is this is the brunt of what I'm getting at. I am going to protect. <laughs> Somebody stop, said I on a reading rainbow sweater. <laughs> I'm going to protect. Stop. I got on a reading rainbow he sweater. Does. Oh. He got a son. He's got a son's school project on his chest. <laughs> I'm a reading rainbow sweater. <laughs> this nigga got the um, the champion um, <laughs> top of the line collection. The champion jogging suit shit. <laughs> hey man, this is you know elephant. You should check him out. Elephant NYC. Elephant. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker is like so. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Go check them out. They that was some fly, experimental man. shit. We sent you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Oscar Goldman collection. He just said that. Stop. Oh, go ahead, Corey. Did you? No, I want to say this about about protecting women because it's serious. Listen, um, I am I am smart enough, in my opinion, I am smart enough to know who I'm going. to invite into my circle right because your circle is is, is 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 it's important people you fuck with god damn it them motherfuckers need to pass a test just like when you filling out for a job that's true a job don't want everybody in they fucking store because mm -hmm. they know <laughs> motherfuckers bringing baggage with them right well so we need a new test nigga if you dare deal with a woman who ain't got your back, a woman who don't know how to conduct herself, you are bringing drama into your world in a whole bunch of different ways because you're not going to be able to protect her mm. because if they ain't got no respect mm. about themselves, mm. God damn it, they're going to stay in jammed up situations. Mm. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to your family, the the people you inherited, <laughs> right, 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 right. right. It is very important for you to let the women in your family know the danger that comes from dealing with people who are not sane. Mm -hmm. So you're saying if a woman doesn't have self-respect, she does not deserve to be protected. What I'm saying is... If you deal with insane brothers all the time, and when I say insane brothers, I don't mean somebody who's always out here jumping around acting a fool. Mm. I'm talking about motherfuckers who lie to you constantly. Mm. Mm. Motherfuckers who always doing shit to keep the bullshit going. <laughs> right, 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 right. If you deal with motherfuckers like that, you will make me numb. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
to your cries for help. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I don't want wow. it to be that way. Right, right. When you come tell me something wrong, I want to know that something is wrong. Mm-hmm. So you have to talk to your the women in your family and let them know it's a very serious thing. Don't bring it to me. Don't bring it to me until it's time for the shit to jump off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Don't bring petty arguments with That's your husband better, to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 When your sister is married to a dude and they get into an argument, you ain't got no business getting in their business. Mm-hmm. That happened with my sister. You ain't got no business getting in their business. If he, if he jump on her or something like that, maybe you can let him know, hey, man, look, Earth this is my wild. sister. Right, right. Just send her to me for you hurt her. Right, 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 right. right, right. But... Right. All the rest of that shit, you ain't got no business saying none of that man about his business that's going on that's in right. his house because that's his motherfucking wife right. or that's his motherfucking woman. So protecting women, it's a very difficult thing in society when in the line. government yeah. plays us against each other. Mm. How so? Well, you know, when it comes to your finances, when it comes to um, what happens in arguments at home, mm-hmm. how they come grab the man out the house in front of the family. Mm-hmm. To show you something, you know what I'm saying? That it was his, yeah, it doesn't was, matter yeah. if it's his fault or not. Right. The they case goes right to him mm-hmm. most of the time. Sometimes if they see him all scratched up or fucked up, they might put the case on the woman. Mm-hmm. But, but most of the time they coming to give somebody a case. Dr. J101. What does he say? He says protection is a privilege, not a right. Hmm. He Good might point. be true with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's an interesting way to look at that. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm yeah. telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. This is what I'm saying. I always go back to meeting Darlene. I don't see her jammed up in a whole lot of bullshit no. and nonsense that goes on out here with, you know, little messy shit. Mm-hmm. But right. when we first, when I first was trying to put this show together, there was a lot of ladies that I knew, attractive women, Mm -hmm. women who laugh and joke with you and all that shit, but I knew them was ain't shit bitches. (laughs) I knew they was ain't shit bitches. How did you know? What was the telltale sign? Because there's a lot of young cats out here listening to you right now that can't see it. My instincts. How did you know? I trust my instincts. Mm-hmm. Well, one I, if it, if, and if I'm wrong about a motherfucker, mm-hmm. if I ever get to know him, I tell him. I remember when I first met you, I thought you was an age shit bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong about you. I'm yeah. sorry because mm-hmm. I got that. I got that thing about me where I can say I'm sorry, mm-hmm. but I'm just saying you can't have ain't shit, be, ain't shit, ain't shit bitches around you is gonna bring situations where you're going to have to protect the ain't shit bitch. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's a problem. And that's where that saying comes from. You better ask somebody. Check the pedigree. Check the streets. Check their background. And that's mm. it. If you hear too many stories about drama they've had, then don't, don't, you know, don't be Sometimes around. you don't have an opportunity to do all that, and you have to count on your observation skills. Right, because that, sometimes people will be just thinking that you're not paying attention You know, mm-hmm. to how they respond to certain questions. uh their, their answers to certain questions and then just their behavior around people you know How they conduct I've been in, in some of these situations when we've been on shows and people will put on a, a very formal face right? and then a question will turn them I mean to the point where it's like uh oh that, that's who they are right? Ooh, you see the yeah, scary right. Yeah, I was on the airplane I was on the airplane and it was a it was a stewardess she was a sister she was a sister so you know I'm already rooting on her right right but she was hood then a <laughs> motherfucker. Oh. Whereas something happened with the people in the count, and she was like, Well, uh, look, uh, we right at And I wanted to tell her, Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh. You are, because oh, yeah, she was yeah. real good. Right, right. Like her, the way she talked or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I was happy to see her with an airline job. Mm-hmm. And you know, she had a thing covering up all her tats. I, I looked at her thoroughly because she was a. Wow. She was a black woman who didn't, who wasn't looking like she was trying to fit into the white world. Mm-hmm. She just happened to be lucky enough to get that job, get mm-hmm. past the interview process, mm-hmm. talking like she talked. But her attitude mm-hmm. toward things where she had no reasoning skills. Or, this is the word. This is the word. She had no composure. 
Mm -hmm. She lost it, or she never had it. About nothing. <laughs> this stuff, when she was just snapping. Just on. Yeah. You know what I mean? And people were ordering their drinks like, um, they would cost you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't, don't want to wanna... send this wild bitch out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somebody yeah. gave you a, a tip here. They said if the, if the girl's grandmother is 37 years old, leave her alone. Ooh, they don't have no experiences yet. They don't That's have nobody ra right mm. raising them. Yeah, they got a kid raising them. That's Who's crazy. raising you? Yeah, you got kids. Darlene kids. said check yeah. the pedigree. Yeah. Who's raising you? If your great-grandmother 37... You you don't have a very deep pool of uh, experience to pull from. That's right. In this day and age, you don't have that opportunity too much when people are already in your space socially. Yeah, but, oh no, easy you know. now. Nowadays, you can actually find out a lot about a person easy and quick on that internet, huh? That's it. You can't it's believe half that shit on there. No, but you get a good general idea. Yeah, you got you. You just using your um, judgment skills That's with it, all that shit. You got to man. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to have that. So I want I want to say to all of the ladies out there who expect protection and all that shit, because I just I just seen so much shit, man. I remember, like I said, when I went to Department of Child and Family Services, mm -hmm. them bitches running in there, just talking about a dude like, and he ain't sent me no money, and he didn't, and I wanted to be like, bitch, who is you fucking with? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you in there talking to strangers about somebody who went raw in you and skeeted mm -hmm. in you. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. What's wrong with you, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you talk about everybody uh, shit but yours. That's cold. So, mm. Mm. protecting the women around you, fellas, it's, it's a tricky. Dicey, dicey. It is a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Also, the, the women need to carry themselves. Well, they would never have a problem. They would never worry about that. If they carry themselves in a certain way, you ain't got to worry about it. You probably have too many people having your back and just wanting to help you out of things situations. So. Let me ask you this, Darlene, because mm -hmm. I know we got to wrap it up soon. Yeah. What if a girl done had ad shots where, where, where her booty is, is real big and she's showing her ass, she got stuff that accentuates her ass. Am I wrong for saying, bitch, what's up with that ass, though? It all depends. I mean, where are you at saying this? Are you at just the beach? Are I you at the be beach and she's walking in her bathing suit? Or... There's different situations. We okay, had a, would you so in public you would actually just ask some? We had a Planned Parenthood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not, not well. Then again, see, here's that's the thing. Funny. We have. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you see a bitch at Planned Parenthood, you know what's up with that ass, though. So. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. No, I'm just I hear what you're saying. Around. No, it's kind of a. It's a. It, 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 I don't mm. know. That's a. That's a iffy situation. Because I don't want to say, you know, you put yourself out there and you're going to get what you receive kind of thing. But at the same time, the majority of the time, those women, when they dress like that and they get upset when somebody makes a comment. But it's like you do have yourself out there and presented like that. So but a lot of times, women would if you argue, can't take it, no, but if you don't, you can't take it and you don't like shots, it. Though. Some women would argue their freedom, you know, they get to express themselves the way they want mm -hmm. to. This isn't back in the day where they got to cover themselves up, you know, sexual expression, mm -hmm. personal expression. Some women would argue that they get to do that and a man should have enough self-respect and discipline to not respond well, to that. Some be, women argue that. would that. be nice. That would be nice. But good luck with all that. Me, I just brush. I'm like, okay, well, dang, I guess it looks all right. You know what I'm saying? If it was rude, I just sometimes I go, oh, well, you didn't have to say it like that. You could have just gave me a nice But are compliment. women trying to have their cake and eat it too? Do they want to basically come out and, and show everything but then really trip if men respond? Some, some do, but I don't. Some do. You're right. I've seen that and I go, well, damn, girl, what did you expect? Just don't don't wear that <laughs> and expect to be to get the utmost respect. Right. That's if all. we in the club and I see booty acne. Oh, my God. How are you going to see booty acne? In I'm the just strip saying, if I can see the bumps on your ass. <laughs> you better respect me. Wait, hey. Who am I yeah. kidding? Me and Bobby need to switch I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. But anyway, no. Uh, <laughs> All right, so. Oh. Uh, we got to get ready. Somebody said Bobby show. getting cold. <laughs> yeah, get old, you'll get cold. Not that cold.
Yeah, uh, I'll be MCing up in here on that month. <laughs> <laughs> <He's like, "Right." laughs> so no, soon, no, soon we will have our okay. new 5150 intro. Mm. Mm-hmm. Bumping. You going to change the intro? Not that Trina part. Well, we going to change the it's intro. Trina, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Trina now. It's, 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 we, we going to come up with some more good shit. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. We got one out. hit wonders. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. So we got, I got an idea for some more shit. And, uh, man, I'll be glad when you so, drop yeah, this. Yeah, we want to say thank you, right? We want to thank the... The, the fans, man. The, the, fans. the chat yeah. room. The chat room. Come on, chat yeah. room. Y'all know y'all been motherfucking mm. keeping us on point. Hilarious. The whole really? motherfucking time. I'd be scared to bring motherfuckers in here and shit because it's you shocking. Yeah. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> you have to warn them. Motherfucker, bring my in. mama in here. I mean, this is my mama. They'll be like, who that bitch? That's hilarious. What, what they joke. say about Rita G? Yeah, mm. Rita G coming back. Yeah. We'll have Rita G back on another show, mm. probably in April. Mm-hmm. Um, so Zoe, what's up? We gonna get this before we get about it. Hey, uh, can you put up that Indiegogo page, man? We really need the support. Uh, we definitely need the support for this uh, relationship roundtable tour that we're trying to put together. That's the uh, Z What Morning Show Relationship Dismount Roundtable Tour Book Tour. We definitely need your support on that. Go there. Tour with this porno motherfucker on there? The no, that's a video. Oh, that's oh. a video on the actual page. <laughs> you go to that page, you click on the video. It's a six-minute video that explains the show and you know everything that we do. We need people to support that. Also, tomorrow uh, from five to seven p.m., I'm back on Dash Radio. If you haven't downloaded the Dash Radio app, go to your iPhones, go to your Google Play, and all of that. Download the app. We're on a station there called Hot Button Radio. We did our first show Monday. It killed. The Voice of Reason has returned. It's crazy. And, of course, Monday's TRadioV.com, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to 1 Mm p.m. You already know how we do. Get at us. Uh, I want to just use my time to thank Corey Holcomb for doing something I think is historic. I don't know anybody that's ever been in his position that has stuck to something for six years, good days, bad days, man, and rode it out to the point where we have gotten to this plateau. And I just say big props to you, Corey Holcomb. Yeah, man. Got to give him love for that. That's what's up. So y'all know, look, I mean, you know, we're going to do the show next week, but I'm putting it out there. Memphis, y'all know I'm going to be at Chuckles Friday through Sunday. Last time the whole motherfucking city came out. <laughs> y'all mm. did y'all motherfucking yeah. thing. You back already, man. Yeah, Damn. man. I'm going back to Memphis. I ain't man. mad at Memphis. Yeah. Memphis, yeah. Memphis Tennessee, mm-hmm. Chuckles Comedy yeah. Club. Not this weekend coming up, but next weekend I will be there doing the motherfucking oh. fool. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. I just want to put that out there because I want that motherfucker to be jammed. It back. will be. You can believe that, man. man Chuckles is the club. Man. Chuckles. Yeah. I think wasn't they were just there last week, uh, Jay Lamont. Was, was it? Yeah. Was they yeah. chuckling? I guess so, man. That's what's yeah. up. Was they chuckling? <laughs> Darlene, what's what? up? <laughs> Motherfuckers waiting on you and um the definition of down. Uh, no. yeah. oh, I yeah. Did I show you? I showed you the cover, right? Yeah, we finally finished everything. Do we have the cover? Uh, Can we I see have, it? I am. I mean, yeah. I was I'll give it to say, Chris send so it we can Chris put it up Put it out for us. Okay, good. People will love to see that. All right, I will. It's a picture of Darlene cleaning chitlins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. That's With the my definition toes. of down yeah. right you there. You clean chitlins, Darlene? No, we do tripas. Mexicans do tripas. What What's that? that? It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, it's... it's, uh, it's Is it pig intestine? It's intestine. Uh-huh. Then it's chitlins. Well, we call them tripas, and we eat them there. Tripas? Uh-huh. Threepers breath ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Gave me a weapon right you there. You stupid. Get your threepers pussy and smell it ass. Oh, they would die. Oh, some cholos would die if, you, if they heard you say that. Threepers pussy. But anyway, no, it, it was pushed back, push back to May. Yeah. <laughs> threepers pussy. That's funny. That's that disgusting. No, pan, pan de tripas. They call it, they call it, they have a nickname for it. A lot of nicknames for it down there. It's got pan, like bread. Mm-hmm. But they that's a or panocha is the long version, but the short one is pan. A lot of <laughs> FYI. But say, you know, just say chitlins, darling. Damn, yeah. chitlins. <laughs> what chitlins? A lot of fans want to see you stand up again, darling. You stood up last week and and damn near broke the internet. Oh, so I did not. On the way up out of here. 
Yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh, well, it they want to see the thickness on the Million Man March. <laughs> <laughs> the Million Man Watch. That's what that is. The, the million, million Man Watch. watch. Yeah. yeah. The million Fan Watch show. They want to see that. All right. Well, let me see. Uh, oh shit! Did. Damn! Yeah. Yeah. Look, show that ass, darling. Oh, you can't have it. No, you can't have it. You can't, you can't have it. You can't have it. Somebody said, "Look, here we go." <laughs> we didn't say that ass, ass though. <laughs> all right, I'm not complaining. Can we on the internet have a girl in here stripping? Like, or can I have two naked girls <laughs> stand behind me on the throne? Yeah, oh, no, fuck it. Do that. do that one show. <laughs> this is gonna be a show about women. These fucking bitches out here in the world. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. But they gonna stand there for that paper. <laughs> and then we gotta we gotta be fair. And then I can bring someone to. Yeah, oh, yeah, stop! See, you guys are so not fair. No dudes too too man, many dudes. He's not gonna be fully naked. They don't even like. He's gonna not have even partially what? naked. You he ain't gonna so come in here. He's gonna be like, no, I you better bring, bring your lawyer. Storm. This man's like, come in here with a bow tie on. Bring Quiet Storm. <laughs> Who is Quiet Storm? He's a stripper. Nah. Oh, you can tell Dalene be going to them strip what? shows. <laughs> Are you throwing pesos at these niggas? <laughs> oh, very funny. Uh huh. She's like, she's like, I'm cooking some tripas. No. <laughs> <laughs> so for your information, though, we don't even have to give them money. They call really? us Hollywood. Yeah, they're oh, like, oh, okay. Hollywood just walked up in here. Hey, they Hollywood, here's the hood. sweet dick. You know where that one is I at. See, I don't. I don't know. What? I can't. I don't know if I can have a naked dude. We have to get a bigger place. Mm. No, I don't think I don't think a naked dude should. Uh, ain't no naked motherfucker standing this no. close to me. Why not? <laughs> <Right. it down. laughs> Why not? My jawline ain't gonna be on the same. <laughs> you know, have some naked pussy up in there. We ain't gonna. I'm gonna no, no, show for this. We have female fans. We got female. Yeah. I don't see no um, uh. female fans on there. Them all so dudes. I'll yeah. uh, eat that. Ass. <laughs> 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 what? Not really. Look. look. What? Darling, it turned up. Darling, like, like, indeed. No. Indeed, you shall. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. So, our, our all right, so we gonna wrap little celebration. Up. We're going to finish up. We got. I got to clean the mic cords. They got cake juice on there. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, look, Bobby's Bobby been moving shit. it around. Yeah, it is fault. It's just the it's cake was. I love it. But it's on that one, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I ain't touched that one. Yeah. Someone's going to have to lick on. that off. What? What? Darling, you gonna lick off the mic cord? <laughs> <laughs> no. Y'all don't know, man. I'm telling you. We'll buy you some I'm freaky. telling you, I can see it. What? Darlene got the freaky deaky. What? I'm telling you. No. Corey, you can see it too. She I played that know. good girl, Darlene, got that freaky deaky. When you don't have to talk about it, then that just. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, speak you be acting like, oh, he took it. <laughs> Yo ass no, get I girl. don't like talking about it myself. Get girl. I talk about it and I don't mind hearing it, but I'm not gonna speak on it. It just doesn't sound right coming What's out of the woman's girl mouth. To be on your show, the Here doctor. We go. Jesus. No, I'm know? saying like I want her to come on this show. You do? Yeah. She'll be on the show tomorrow. You should come to the show. The dash show in Hollywood. Now what is she a doctor of? Bam! <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with <laughs> I know that'll happen if I ask her that. I'm Yo, oh, no, I be sitting there like this. She be like, doctor, I be like. <laughs> she, do she Dr. Dre? She's like. <laughs> hey, you maybe can yeah. ask her that question. You tomorrow. ask her and find out. Because you know I'm that shit is her. online. Mm -hmm. Whatever she say, I'm going to be like. <laughs> that shit going to say, that's some bullshit <laughs> right there. Womp, womp, womp. Okay. She a pretty motherfucker, though, but God okay. never. Man, they was looking really icy on Monday. In the show. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, we need you to come through. That goddamn plane. I was on a plane coming from Boston. That motherfucker was fucked up. Dog. Yeah, I heard you was late. I hate United Airlines. Mm. Fuck United, you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, we were going to sponsor you guys. Somebody said Lunell brought Zoe that sweater. Mm. Look up. Lunell's a very nice lady. Yeah, she is. Lunell's hey, man, I shit it on that airplane, man. And I had took that, um. Oh, my God. I took that, um. That, uh. Or something? Yeah, that mm -hmm. shit. That, no, uh, really. Whatever that shit is to make your shit splat out. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I'm just saying, fuck United. I was mad. I was on that plane all that time. And all the people. Look, I ain't trying to brag, but on that flight, I had a, a good ticket, a first class ticket. But the people from the back kept coming in there. And was I a hater because I wanted to fuck they 
experience up with the first class bathroom. So you let loose mm. on the number two. I let loose. And I ain't, it was on the wall. Oh you know them things real small and shit. Whatever you got to turn around in the bathroom, standing straight up. Yeah, yeah, small. yeah. yeah. Boy, so I you shit it on the bathroom wall. I let loose on that motherfucker. <laughs> and I peed on the part of the stool. Oh, right it's back. cold, man. So, you know, your pants going to get pee on it. Oh, my Lord. I love fucking motherfuckers up in the bathroom. Oh, boy. I come out that motherfucker. That bathroom is not sanitary no more. That <laughs> yellow tape on that motherfucker. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with Corey, man? Uh, all right, Joe. So y'all get ready for next week. Uh, thank you for fucking with us on the yeah. real. Yeah. Well, uh, we should be bringing special guests in. I'm thinking like a little neighborhood type feel, but I have a special guest coming in. It's supposed to come in this Tuesday, so hopefully next he Tuesday. He faked you out this Tuesday, right? What? Did you get faked out? No, remember I told you he already said, he goes, if it's not going to be this Tuesday, hopefully the next Tuesday, because he doesn't live oh, here Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, he okay, doesn't yeah, live yeah, here yeah. anymore. Well, yeah, he's but anyway, he's going to try and come in, oh, so that'll be the, fun. He got the he got the green car. He got the green yeah, car. Yeah, he can come up he here anytime. That's my man. Right. We'll, we'll have special guests. That'll be fun. That'll be good. Yeah. Um, that'll be a real, oh, I, you don't even know. That'll be a real good show. Oh, mm. my God. Talk about details and stuff like that. We'll have to play his songs over and over again. But anyway, yeah. So that'll be fun. Um, so that's what's up. Everybody who laying up in the bed with their woman and she acting like she don't want to fuck, take the pussy and trust her and, uh, and test her love. Oh my god! <laughs> Date rape is an opinion. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You know they gonna come after us. There though. it is. Don't. I'm okay. Corey Hogan. I said it, and I got a million people listening. Shut up, <laughs> you motherfuckers! <laughs> Suck dick, you bitch. Anyway, all right. Fifty-one, fifty. We good. Yo, yeah. Oh, my God.